Welcome to Powerlifting America's 2023 National Championships. In the 47 kilo class, we have Heather Connor returning to face Jessica Espinal. In the 52 kilo class, it is a murderous row of contenders looking to earn their spot on Team USA. In the 57 kilo class, fast rising star Natalie Richards will face off against Chrissy Paracci. On the men's side, in the 59 kilo class, Wasker Carpio looks to solidify himself on Team USA and pave the way to the IPF World Championships hitting the Carpino 1 total. In the 66 kilo class, Jonathan Garcia returns to defend his title against Brian Lee. And in the 74 kilo class, just recently found out, unfortunately, Taylor Atwood will not be competing. But we do have some contenders rising, looking to establish themselves as the new 74 kilo US champion. Don't go anywhere. The action's about to start. And just taking a look here at the openers, Bill, it serves mention we have a missed, a competitor who had missed weight. Um, you were telling me before we came onto the broadcast here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Megan Hurlbert, uh, who's a contender for the 52 kilo class, has missed weight, so she's gonna be a guest lifter today. And looks like the bar is loaded, my friend. And we are going to get underway as Jessica Espinal in the 47 kilo class will open with 130 kilos. We will be bouncing from the 47, 52, and 57 kilo classes. We will update you as we move from class to class. And the strength guy's own Jessica Espinal, 130 on the bar. Smash that, my friend. She is a serious contender for this 47 uh, crown today. Yeah, she is head to head with the 47 kilo goat, some say, in Heather Corner. Stiff opposition, looking to earn her way onto Team USA for the IPF World Championships. It's gonna be a battle, and up next, Kate Cohen, representing Juggernaut, Kate in the 52 kilo class. As I said, we're gonna be bouncing from class to class to class here. Kate, in contention for the national title and possibly a world team spot, especially with whom a lot of people thought might have been the favorite going in, Megan missing weight and now relegated to a guest lifter. Yeah, so we're gonna see um, here Kate and Jamie Fisher going head to head for that top spot in the 52s today. 130 kilos remains on the bar for Kate Cohen. She's competing in the 52 kilo class today. Kate, no issues making weight. She operates underneath the 52 kilo class limit in training. And just took a look, she's actually opening two and a half kilos less than her meet PB, so we'll see what happens here. Listen, I tell you what, her training has looked phenomenal. Expecting PRs from Kate today. Slow and steady, looks great. 130 kilos, 286 pounds. Wait for the judge's light. calls. We got thumbs up, I believe. Yep. And Kate is on the board. There we go. Well, that'll be a PR attempt for her coming up next. Jamie Fisher up next. Got to be the favorite in the 52 kilos, in my opinion, in this one. She got the massive, massive bench on her, so. It will be the first time we get to see Jamie benching under the new IPF bench rules. Absolutely. See how that impacts her total and if that opens the door for Kate. But first, Jamie also opening with 130. Seven and, a half, seven and a half kilos less than her PB total, or PB squat, sorry. Possibly pacing for a new personal best. Ooh, what do you think about the depth there? Man? Wait for the judges on that one. Yep. Good 
good lift. Lift is good. You know, it's difficult. We saw the head on, and that's the, you know, the, the most. We don't have the greatest vantage point from the commentating booth, but I do see Heather Connor, 132.5. Heather looking to get back to the IPF Worlds. She's been there so many times representing USA, but under heavy fire here in the midst of a battle for that world team spot. The USA singlet and the France t-shirt underneath. Yeah. A tip of the hat to Team France, who's done so well recently on the international stage. All class by Heather Connor here, 132.5. Heather is the American record holder in the squat in powerlifting America, 142 and a half. Now we're 10 kilo below that, so this should move pretty easily. She is a very slow and steady squatter. So you may think it's a tempo, but it's still gonna move. Yeah, just as you had predicted, <laughs> slow and steady. I wasn't joking. And the lift is good. Good lift for Heather. Beautiful. Gets on the board. And that moved about as well as she would have liked. I know it says reds on the screen, but I believe the judges said okay. it was good lift. I was going to say, am I missing something here? <laughs> we'll double, double check on that in a minute, but yeah, I think it was yeah, good lift for Heather. 135 kilos being loaded. Chrissy Paracci. Chrissy has been lifting at an elite level for years now. Veteran of the game. Multiple comebacks from injuries that would have ended the careers of a lesser athlete, but Chrissy, a specimen. This is well below her PB squad also, so it should be pretty handily. A little fired up, bar flying all over the place. <laughs> and like we predicted. Yeah, she makes an <laughs> easy work of 135. Beautiful. And the lift is good. Three white lights, 297 pounds is in the books for Christina Parachi. Kay Johnson is next to the platform. Megan Hurlbert on deck. Natalie Richards will round out third flights. You're in the hole. And we're moving relatively quickly. Also, this is Kay Johnson kilos, coming up here. Um, from the notes I saw on open powerlifting, this is actually only her second meet. So unless I miss something, this is pretty impressive. Popping up to a national championship in your second meet. That's pretty promising. There's 135 kilos awaiting Kay Johnson. And if this really is her second competition, wow, she has found herself in the midst of a big show here. We got world champions hitting the platform. And I spy to the left, there's the strength guys, Arian Kamesi. Coaching K. Yeah, nice slow and steady squat. The lift is good. Again, that was two and a half kilos below her PB, which was only from one meet. So I expect her to smash all her PBs today, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, when you're two competitions deep, your personal bests are very, I mean, that's, they're old numbers real quick, aren't they? Absolutely. Chance Mitchell, reigning 93 kilo world champion, who actually competes tomorrow, handling Megan Hurlbert. Megan, a guest lifter, opening with 150 kilos. Makes easy work of it, Absolutely, looks great. 
Yeah, sometimes you have someone like that who had to be you know, obviously a little rough weight cut because she didn't end up making weight. You know, being a little more conservative is, is pretty good sometimes, but, you know, she opened up pretty heavy there as opposed to her PR and really, really moved great. So that's a good sign for her for today. It paid off in Natalie Richards, 160 kilos for her opening squat. Natalie, amongst the discussion, when you're talking about the elite in the 57 kilo class worldwide, Natalie would love to clinch her spot on Team USA, jo join the likes of Jad Jacob and Joy Namani, both of whom have won world titles and will be at Sheffield in a little over a month. Nicely done. Beautiful, beautiful squad. Big smile on her face. You know, when you, and, and I'm going to tell you, Bill, for the listeners, Bill has coached uh, national teams at the world championship level. Sometimes getting that first squat out of the way gets those nerves out of the way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I always tell my lifters and whoever I'm working with, the most important one of the day, because, you know, we finally the butterflies are gone. You can relax and, you know, whatever happens in the next two squats, it's all good because the first one got in. You also set the pace, too, for the judges to know, okay, this person does squat super deep or kind of reads how you do squat. So they kind of base their, I don't want to say opinion on the, the next two squats on that, but it does give a good representation of how you're going to perform later on with the judges. Well, I tell you what, if you're squatting and it's right borderline and they think they got to lean in, they can see you coming up again, they will do so. 135 on the bar awaits Kate Cohen. This will be a PB attempt for her, two and a half kilo PB. And following her training, I'm not surprised. Yeah, open her move great. This should be nice in hand for her. Good fight there. Yeah, a little pause on the way up. But she gets five more kilos. Now, Bill, you've done a lot of handling in your day. Does that pause give you alarm? Does it give you pause? Or are you thinking that's a tough one there? I mean, you know, you got to kind of go back and ask her, how did it go? Did, it, did you misgroove it? Was it something there? Or is that just a strength issue? You know, was your cut a little bit tougher than possible? So maybe you just say, hey, we're scrapping the third one, saving the, the strength for the deadlift coming up. I guess it is a conversation, isn't it? And Jamie Fisher looking to insert herself into the conversation for the 52 kilo national champion. 135 stays on the bar for her second attempt. Got the red hair, the red SBD kit, the red Elyco plates. Yeah. We're ready to go right here. Color coordinated. Has a has a nice tight foot stance there. Good. We've got the white lights. I was worried I was going to say all that red, and then the red lights were going to come up. Yeah. And I, was gonna be like, oh, I, I just I cursed her there. I couldn't believe it. So I'm happy that one got through. So good, good on her. The commentator's <laughs> curse is broken. And Jessica Espinal, 137.5 for her second attempt. It yeah, looks like her and Heather are taking the same second attempts here. So. Jess has the lower lot number, so she'll be going first. And we had promised a close battle between these two ladies looking to represent Team USA at the Worlds. Here we are, neck and neck, true to form. Wow, what do you think, Bill? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful squat. Her PB is 142 and a half, so you know, we expect her to go up probably about, I would say, two and a half to five kilos um, on that last one. Actually, 142 and a half is the American squat record, so she could end up chipping that to 143 if she's feeling that good. And she might need a chip. 137 and a half stays on the bar for Heather Connor, multiple time world champion. Not unaccustomed to a good battle. On the on the national level, she is though. That's the interesting part, right? I mean, all the younger kids are catching up. I mean, Jessica only being 21 years old, it's impressive. But I mean, Heather, 
you know, let's see what she's got here. Again, slow and steady is coming. See what the judges say on that one. Three white lights, very good. So they're neck and neck right now. They stay neck and neck, and judging by the smile on Heather's face, she's happy with it. So Jessica has jumped to 143, which will be the uh, American record squad. So depending on how that felt for Heather, we'll see a 143.5 potentially, or just maybe a 140 and just collect as many kilos as she can going into the uh, bench and the deadlift. Kate Johnson. Big jump here, seven and a half kilo jump. 142.5 on the bar for a second. Yes, yeah, seven and a half kilos. How do you feel about that? We're in the 57 kilo class. I mean, it is her second meet, so you know, expect her to have some big newbie gains if it is, in fact, her second meet. So, yeah, maybe 135 was a tester. See where we're at. Feels yeah. good. Let's take a big jump. So this will be a five kilo PR for her. Slow and steady setup. Yeah, 60 seconds. Some people like to use it all. Looks good on depth from here, anyways. Very nice. Beautiful. Judges agree. There we go. New PB for her. And more in the tank. Chrissy Paracci up next. 145 for a second attempt. A 10 kilo jump, but 135 move quick. What do you think, Bill? Yeah, I mean, that was a very light opener for her, I would say. Obviously, how it moved, it looked fantastic. So 145 is right in line here with what I think she's capable of, no problem. Pacing herself, you know, probably a 145, then a 150, 152 and a half, 155 on a third attempt, if this one obviously looks as good as the first one. Well, if she's trying to conserve energy, 10 kilo jump will certainly do that. Whoa, she makes easy work of it too, Bill. Speed D. Three white lights, beautiful. Yeah, I would expect another seven and a half to 10 on the third to be completely honest with her. Chance Mitchell giving respect where respect is due with the fist pump as Chrissy makes her way backstage. And Megan makes her way on stage. 160 stays on the bar for her. Two and a half kilos below her current PR. First one moved really, really well. So 10 kilos was warranted for the second for sure. The weigh-ins may not have gone to script, but she could still put in a personal best performance at the national stage, no less. Very nice. Manages that 10 kilo jump rather well. Three white lights, perfect. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing a you know five to seven and a half coming out of her for a third attempt. And Natalie Richards up next, 167.5 kilos for a second attempt. Natalie's the pretty big favorite today, so I think she just needs to set it up properly, where she's just making lifts all day long, and she'll slide right into that world team slot again. But you got to make the lifts. And that's the most important thing with her. Now, one of the factors of making a team is hitting the Carpino. A Carpino is just the average of the last three years winning totals at IPF Worlds. For Natalie, that Carpino was 478. Natalie has hit 501, slightly overweight for 57 kilo class. Let's see if she could do it here today. A 
and big smile again. It's easy work of it. And let me ask you, Bill, do you think, because she's likely to pace herself ahead of Chrissy, are they going to cruise to that Carpino one, or do you expect them to try to make moves towards that 500 kilo range? I wouldn't expect the, the 500 kilo range today. But, I mean, again, you never know. So I mean, it, was, it was someone that I'm working with. We're going to cruise, win solidly, hit the record. Um, the, you know, the, the American record is in play as well. Um, so, but again, I wouldn't be pushing towards that, you know, unofficial world record type, I don't believe. Unless she's, again, she's feeling great, deadlift goes crazy. You know, she can go off for sure. Make hay when the sun shines. Heather Connor, 140, taking a two and a half kilo jump, if you were wondering. And we were, judging off the last squat. Let's see how this moves. Looking to go three for three in the 47 kilo class. Being in a battle, you gotta make all your lifts. That gives you a huge advantage. So Heather's doing a smart move here, jumping up two and a half kilos. Yeah, I think it is the proper proper move here. You do need to go three for three. Every kilo is gonna count in a battle this close. Especially with her with that weapon of the deadlift at the end. So she can make up that ground, no problem. In terms of weapons, Heather Connors' deadlift is legendary. Just a little too heavy today for Heather. Nice Good catch. Good job by the spotters, yes. Thanks, the spotters. Nice classy move. Telling her coach, I think if I could read the lips there, I'm okay. Yeah. Which is good. That's the most important thing on yeah. that, right? She's fine. She's going to move on into the bench press unscathed. Anytime I ever have a lifter and misses a lift, the first thing out of my mouth is always going to be, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Oh, are sorry. You <laughs> are you okay? That's right. That's right. That's why I'm not a coach and I'm in the booth. Physically okay? Good. Mentally okay? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, so we got to yeah. fix that. We got, yeah. we got time. Kate Cohen, 140. For her third and final squat. This will be a big, big PR for her. What's her previous PR there, Bill? 132 and a half. Well into PR territory. Entered that in the second, but as I had said, training looked good for her. Now, 135 was a bit of work, but that doesn't mean sometimes as the weight gets heavier, the intensity of the lifter also rises to the occasion. Kate in a battle for a world team spot. If she needs motivation, she's got it. Depth looks good. Oh, no. Just sticking that point. Sticking point, yeah. That was close. That was a very close one, you know. Look at 2020 hindsight to say they should have went 137 and a half. That was rather close anyways. And Jamie Fisher, good sport on the sidelines, whom she's battling for that world team spot, gives her a fist bump. Gives so her a fist shake bump. it off. But also you see that happen in front of you to your main competitor right now. Gives you a little bit of extra fired up of like, hey, Here's my chance to pop into the lead early right here. She, yeah. She missed, I make. Let's go. That's exactly it. Look, they're neck and neck as is. If Jamie hits this, she moves into the lead. And this will actually be a PB for Jamie, too. So her previous is 137 and a half. Oh, kind of got pulled out of position there. Yeah. You saw some movement in the hole. She looks okay. And I guess we're still neck and neck in the 52s. We promised a battle, and a battle it is. Well, speaking of battles, here comes the second 47 kilo lifter, Jessica Espinal, with the first American record attempt we have of the championships. 143 kilo squat. Previous PB is 142 and a half, so it's just bumping it up a half a kilo. The championship chips are on the bar. She has an opportunity here to move ahead, collect a chip, and establish some ground. We all know Heather Connors' deadlift awaits her in the deadlift event. She wants to build that subtotal before she faces it. This is really going to help that cause. It oh, looked yeah. like for just a moment, she might have been out of position Absolutely. and battles through it. 
A massive moment here on the platform, Powerlift America Nationals, where Jessica Espinal grabs an American record and builds her case for that national team spot. Obviously, a lot of lifting left to go. I mean, like, just like you said, when she hit that hole, I was like, whoops, that's not going to happen. And then she just, she's almost stood up faster than she did with her second attempt. Gathered herself <laughs> and refused to be denied. Beautifully up done. Next. Very good. Back to back strength, the strength guys, Kay Johnson here, 147.5. This will be a 10 kilo PR for her if she hits this. Coming into the competition, yeah. Five kilo jump from her second, but as you had said previously, relatively new to the powerlifting. Surrounded herself with the right people for success. Can she go three for three? Tons of heart by Kay Johnson. All good. Three white lights. Beautiful. What a way to end the day. Listen, I tell you what. Arian loaded the bar with exactly the right number to get the most out of his lifter. <laughs> and if I know lifter, she probably goes to the bag and says, I thought I had a couple more kilo in me, not for nothing. Absolutely. Sandbagging me, coach. Come on. Chrissy Parachi. Chrissy Max Power. 152.5, and now she's all business. Now she's ready to fight. Chrissy has the heart of a lion if the fight comes. Second one moves, like a first and second move, both like rockets, so this should be right in hand with that. I think this moves pretty well, and it'll be a white light, if I had to guess. Room to spare, Bill. What are you thinking? Yeah, move fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit below her uh, all-time PB, but again, move fantastic at nationals. What else can you ask for? Three for three. Let's go bench. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. And she has a bench. Megan Hurlbert, 165. For her third and final squad of the day, and this will be a PBR attempt for her. Two and a half kilos Power above that. I think you got for Chrissy 160 was her previous. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is Megan. Yeah, I think I think Chrissy hit a personal best in her. Ah, never mind. Nicely Beautiful. done. In control the whole time on that one. Three white lights. And look at all smiles, even as a guest lifter here, looking to make a statement. It'll be interesting if she decides to go 52 or 57 in the future. I mean, listen, the strength won't be an issue. I know from myself being a competitor, doesn't matter what happened the morning of, whatever, miss weight, make weight, whatever. You make three squats, you're going to be happy regardless yeah. of what happens. <laughs> 175 for Natalie Richards. Yep. Looking to go three for three. Natalie's previous personal best, 178.5. Just a wee bit below that. Oh, tongue out that time, Jordan style. <laughs> <laughs> Makes easy work of it. Three white lights, beautiful. Yeah, it looked like she was just kind of pacing herself, you know, making a whole day of it, right? Planning everything out perfectly. Let's do this, this, and this, and let's get to that total, get to that number, and let's get our butts off to Malta. Two-time Open World Champion and current Masters World Champion, Ellis McLean in the wings with his lifter. 
David Barubi, 67.5 on the bar for David in the 59 kilo class. We're moving into our second flight. This is the 59, 66, and 74 kilo class. And we're gonna bounce around between the weight classes. We'll let you know when we do. And if you tuned in for Taylor Atwood, Taylor taking himself out of the competition, looking to focus on Sheffield. Those nice new Eleco plates on the platform, looks good. Those grooves on the side there, gotta grab me a pair of those. Whoa, Whoa. definitely not an issue. <laughs> Wow. Oh, good, two white lights for David. That was about 25 kilos under his personal best, so expect a pretty big jump coming from him because he almost literally jumped with that weight. <laughs> Made easy work of it. 115 for Logan Dwyer. Now, Logan had told me he had been dealing with a shoulder issue and it had been plaguing him. I'm wondering how this moves, if maybe he takes a much bigger jump than previously he would, and he's just testing things out. Yeah, this is about, what, 32 kilos below his personal best, so um, could be something like that with the injury for sure. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Just being conservative on the opener potentially. Whoa. Yep, nice and fast, just so, like we expected. What kind of a jump would you say from that, Bill? I mean, if he's talking about being around 150, I mean, you're going to say he's probably going to be in the, you know, 127 and a half, 130 range potentially for the next attempt. So about a you know, 12 and a half, 15 kilo total uh, jump potentially. If he was wondering how his shoulder would feel on the platform, well, it doesn't look like it's going to be as big of an issue as he had previously anticipated. Right. 177.5, Dalton Laco, 59 kilo class. He is a former junior world champion, equipped and raw. He actually broke the um, open deadlift world record in Canada in 2018. Um, I handled him for that meet. He took Fedosienko's record, and then Fedosienko took it right back a couple <laughs> days later. Dalton. But he's got a deadlift on him, man, believe me. Massive deadlift. Beautiful. I remember asking Dalton for some uh, videos when I was handling him. Three, Three white lights for him. Good. And he says, I don't film my stuff in the gym. I go, oh, OK. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't film anything, so. <laughs> Old school. Keeping it old school, Mario Leos, 177.5 on the bar for his opening squat. And this is, oh, he's a guest lifter. Yeah, it looks like he missed weight. Also, Mario has been part of the um, USA team with the equipped world championships. Getting, was it fifth place in 2019 in Dubai? Makes easy good. work of it. Yeah. Depth look great. Good. Three white lights. All right, well, here's the favorite here in the 59 kilo class. Wasker Carpio, 200 kilos even, and Wasker in the 59 kilo class, definitely a heavy favorite. However, he needs to hit the Carpino one total if he's gonna make Team USA. Now, Bill, what is that Carpino one total? It'll be 613 and a half kilos. And that is a monster total to have to hit Big totals. for a 59 kilo lifter. His current PR total is 600 even. Train's been looking good. He's capable of it. Let's see if we can just put it together on the day of. It's quite the feat. Oscar, I've been talking to him in the DMs, and he's very confident he can hit that Carpino one, but confidence is one thing. Putting it together on meet day is another. About 17 and a half kilos below his current PR. I asked Wasker about his body weight. He said cutting shouldn't be an issue. Beautiful. 
moved really, really well. And that's how you want your opening lift to look. Probably see a 10 to 12 kilo jump on that one, I would guess. Rodrigo Manzo in the 66 kilo class, 215 kilos loaded for him, Rodrigo has been campaigning at the national level for years now and would love to make a U.S. national team for IPF Worlds. Last year's silver medalist at Nationals. Manzo is battling it out in the 66-kilo class today. Yeah, he's very capable of putting up a really big total and being a contender here. He just got to make some lifts. He's got to make some lifts. If he's healthy... His total can rocket into the late 600s and threaten the favorites. You know they're going to be pushing for that Carpino win total. Right. Looks good. And speaking of the Carpino one total, Bill Two reds on that one. Got called on depth on the side, red, red lights. That's going to set him back a little. Bill, what is the Carpino one total these lifters need in the 6-6 kilo class to make the team? 702.5. And that is a monster Carpino <laughs> That is 66. No small task, absolutely, considering um, 700 was that magic number not too long ago, and now you're saying you have to hit over that to make the team. Just to make the team to be invited to the party, but if anyone can, Brian Lee, is a big favorite to do so, 227.5. Harrison on deck, Garcia in the hole, Berube four out. Yeah, Brian's a good squatter, a good bencher, and a fantastic deadlifter. So we'll kind of see, I want to say almost the two polar opposites between him and Jonathan Garcia, where at the end of the day, I expect all three of them to have one of the American records in each discipline. Yeah, it's definitely the tale of the subtotal Specialist versus the deadlift specialist. Move great. Yeah, that was. Let's just fast. wait for the judges on that. Lightning fast. Still waiting. The suspense. It was laid on the line. This close. Yeah. Oh, good. Two to one. Good Two lift. to one. It's passes. The lift is good. <laughs> go. Nothing like waiting. Look at if you're nervous for your opener anyway, isn't that like waiting a little extra for the call? <laughs> nice sigh of relief on there. Okay, good. Right, Nicholas Ferrison. We are in the 74 kilo class. 227.5 kilos stays on the bar for Nicholas. He's 22 kilos below his current PR. This is a 74 kilo. I'm not sure why I was throwing a European uh, little accent on it. Nicholas, they call him, right? <laughs> I'm used to the worlds. Been hanging out with the French guys too that's much. That's right. That's right. So Nicholas all of a sudden finds himself as the favorite in the 74 kilo class. With Taylor which he did not leaving. expect this morning. You know, Nicholas would tell you he was always the favorite. <laughs> Beautiful squad. There we go. Easy work of it. And he said, you know what? You're not going to take it from me now, so let me make sure this goes extra deep. Yeah. Beautiful. He'll have stories of Atwood dodging him later. <laughs> and here comes the current world record squad holder, Jonathan Garcia. Jonathan Garcia, 252.5 kilos for his opening squat. Jonathan previously winning the title, representing U.S. in South Africa, getting a silver medal. And now with the opportunity of um, Eddie Berglund potentially moving up to the 74 kilo class, the current world champ, we might see... Uh, you know, the winner of this today be the favorite potentially in the 66 kilo class. How about a round of applause for our reigning national champion trying to make it two in a row? Jonathan, looking to make a statement here in the squats. If you follow his training, he is capable of pushing his squat close to that 600 pound range, 270 kilos. Yeah, 271 is the PR. Now, can he do it on the day? He's going to need it. Rocket ship. Let's wait for the judges, though. Yeah. Pounds in the 66 kilo class. Beautiful. Three white lights. Put a little wink to his coach, Arian, right there. 
Yeah, Arian doing a lot of work here at the Powerlifting America Nationals. And David Barubi, 77.5 for his second attempt. Yeah. 10 first, kilo jump. First one was a rock. I mean, literally almost jumped off the ground with this one on his opener. So I expect to see pretty close to the same thing here. He yeah. was very, very close to missing that rack command, though. So I hope he... Uh, LS told him, LS's coach told him, though, please wait. Yeah, you want to get excited, but not too excited. Calls, hold it, hold it. Yeah, three white lights, beautiful. Excellent job. Expect probably another 10 kilos out of them, to be honest with you. Handled that well, and Logan Dwyer, we're in the 74 kilo class. Logan, 122.5 on the bar for him. Yeah, I thought the opener moved extremely fast. Like you said, he has a, a shoulder injury. Is that what you're saying? Shoulder. Yeah, and I'm actually a little surprised he didn't go up a little more aggressive. Yeah, so they're just playing a little extra conservative here, you know. Um, potentially saving it for a deadlift or a bench press. But if it's a shoulder thing, it's not going to be saving for a bench press, I guess. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. No doubt on depth. Yeah. <laughs> Very close to touching the floor on that one. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Handled by Susie Gary, <laughs> wife of legendary handling coach Matt Gary, and 185 for Mario Leos. This will be a Mario. So Mario um, has competed equipped for quite some time. This will actually be a raw personal best for him. But again, he's guest lifting today. He did miss weight earlier this morning. Yeah, this afternoon, I'm sorry. Ooh. It was smooth until it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but he battles through it. Now the question's got to be, how much more would you put on the bar for him? I mean, it's going to be a two and a half kilo jump for me, for sure. He's an equipped lifter, so he's probably going to jump 10 kilos. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the difference, right? The equipped guys, it would be, you know, let's change the suit a little bit, a little bit tighter on the wraps, whatever. But with the raw, it's, it is what it is. You're out there. So, you know, I expect a two and a half kilo jump for sure. Dalton Laco. Two or 187.5 for a second attempt. We're in the 59 kilo class. This will be a, two and a half, uh, five kilo PR for Dalton already. And, you know, he's normally been in the 53 kilo class. So this is his first time actually moving up and actually gaining some weight and getting into that a little bit heavier body weight. There we go, very nice. A speedy second attempt at 413 pounds, three white lights. Yeah, so we actually set the open world record deadlift. He was a 53-kilo lifter in the juniors. So, oh, wow. <laughs> so Fedosyanko actually weighed six kilos more than him when he did it. <laughs> and these are the trivia that only you would know, Bill. <laughs> again, don't sleep on Dalton. We were talking about Wasker before, but, like, Dalton is going to be slow and steady, and he can pull something at the end that potentially upset the apple cart here for Wasker. Speaking, speaking of Wasker, 210. For a second attempt, 200 kilos moved very well for him in his opener. Expecting the 10 kilo jump, not to slow him down too much, but it should be work. And what was his previous personal best, Bill? Uh, 217, I believe. Yep, 217 and a half. Operating still a little below that. Let's see how this moves. Puts him right in line for a second attempt here. That'll you know give him a potential jump for a PR 
attempt at the end here. And obviously keep in mind, he's gonna need to hit PRs if he's gonna hit that Carpino and make his way to the World Championships. And that is the goal. What do you think, Bill? Move good. I think it's a good lift. And how much would you put on the bar if he's trying to pace himself? And it should stand. Look, he missed his opener and moved up five kilo anyways. Oh, no, that's right. Sorry, that's Rodrigo. Sorry. Changing. Uh, but, Bill, what do you think for his third? If it was me, it's five to seven and a half, most likely. Um, with that, I don't know if they're going to. Again, they need to hit. They need to figure out where they're going to find 13 and a half kilos from somewhere. So <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. So are they going to push it to it? I don't know. You might not have a choice, do you? Speaking of not a choice, Rodrigo Manzo misses opener. He has two more attempts, but opting to move up anyways. Bill, how do you feel about moving up in weight despite missing? It depends what the goal is for the day. If you're here to win, then yeah, you, you kind of have to because it's going to it's put you in that spot where if I repeat this, those other guys made it already. I'm in trouble already, right? So, you know, I don't mind this. Looks like you probably half the, the total, the half the actual second attempt jump with going up five instead of potentially ten. Sounds like reason. That looked much better. I thought that was much deeper. Good three white lights. There we go. I wouldn't be surprised. Another, you know, five to seven and a half kilo jump there for him. Back in the game is Rodrigo. And 240 kilos being loaded now for Nicholas. Yep. So again, Nicholas it looked like he kind of pulled back the opener a little bit, would be my guess, how fast it moved, knowing that, like, he's just kind of made a couple lifts here to kind of solidify the uh, national championship with Taylor being out. So now we see a 12 and a half kilo jump. Um, his personal best is 250. So this moves well. You can see that maybe 252 and a half after this potentially. Wouldn't be surprised. But again, we got to see what this looks like. And he is a rather big 74 kilo lifter. Yeah, he is. I'm assuming he cuts all types of weight. It's a sizable jump. Ooh, the depth though. Nicely done. Yeah, again, looks good. Nick Harrison, three white lights, 529. Beautiful, beautiful. I think potentially for him, you know, seven and a half, maybe 10 is pushing it. But I think just, you know, keep yourself conservative, make some lifts, enjoy the day, go home with a gold medal. It'll be a beautiful thing. 242.5 for Brian Lee looking to go home with the gold medal. 66 kilo class. And Brian needs to gather these kilos. He's in a tight battle with Jonathan Garcia, as well as a pretty big Carpino total he needs to hit to go to the World Championships. Interesting here. So Brian jumped 15 kilos. We'll see Jonathan next. He also jumped 15 kilos. So, you know, they're kind of keeping themselves neck to neck spacing on the, uh, the attempts. And now, if unfortunately one of them misses, that becomes a huge gap right there of 15 kilos. So that's why it's important to nail all these. And we had touched up on just how big the qualifying total. It's moved great. Tight. Yeah, moved but great. We're going to wait for the judges. For Brian, but it's not deep enough. Yeah, it was, it was right on that line. Let's Reds from the side on depth. It was right on that line, and it was a split decision on it. Now, that's going to be interesting how the battle's going to unfold, not just with Jonathan, but also the goal of hitting that Carpino. So again, who's saying it's not going to go up, right? I mean, listen, he's here to win. He's here to hit a number. You got a plan in place. You kind of have to ride with it or else it's not going to happen. Jonathan Garcia trying to make something happen with 267.5 kilos on the bar for his second attempt. So it does look like Brian Lee put into uh, redo the uh, second attempt, so he'll stick with 242 and a half. Interesting decision. Yeah. So Garcia right now pops into a pretty big lead with this one. Garcia looking to defend his title. Look at a lot of people coming into the competition thought maybe Brian Lee might be the favorite. Based off of nominations, he is. Can Jonathan pull off the upset? and defend his title, as well as make it back to the Worlds. 
I love talking about a silver medalist at world championships as the, you know, the underdog. Yeah, that's <laughs> how tough the competition is. So. Absolutely. Move great. But again, just like Brian's, we're going to wait. It looked a little more convincing to me. Same deal. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back to square one now. So now let's see what... Um, I hope you don't read lips at home. But yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's a tough one. We, we are, listen, we are right back to square one, like you said, but they are further from that Carpino one, and it's a it's a difficult Carpino one to hit. Well, let's wait. Let's see what uh, Jonathan puts in for his third. You yeah, know, you never know. Arian's known to be spicy sometimes. Yeah, that's for sure. 87.5 <laughs> for David Barubi. Right. We are back in the 59-kilo class. This will be five kilos below his PR. But again, another 10 kilo jump for him. First two were extremely fast, extremely deep. Just the biggest thing for David is not is not missing the uh, rack command. And Bill, you want to point something out. What does Jonathan have? Jonathan's going for the American squat record, 271.5, which will be an unofficial world record as well. I think that's probably a good idea. And listen, winning's not good enough. You got to be winning and hit that number. Oh, beautiful. This, yeah. He's going to be fired up after that one. That was a beautiful squat. As the weight got heavier, David, a little more on point every time, <laughs> getting the proper depth there, not going deeper than he needs to, waiting for the proper commands. Well, he couldn't jump with that one. That's why it looked right. better. Oh, that's, that's what gravity will do for you, sir. <laughs> and Logan Dwyer, we're in the 74-kilo class, 130 kilos loaded. He yeah, jumped up another 7.5 kilos. Pretty conservative jump that we kind of thought. But smiling, looks like he's happy. You go three for three. Nothing gets better than that at a national championship. I actually met Logan briefly at a uh, local meet in uh, Maryland in December. Logan got a nice tight grip. And that will put a little bit of pressure on the shoulders. And you see a little bit of a grimacing there. But again, super conservative. But he yeah. handles it, yeah. Had quite a bit more in him, but hey, he's three for three, he's happy. Yeah, he definitely looks happy, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. If that's any indication, he's not telling himself, oh, we should have done anything else. <laughs> and Mario Leos, 190 kilos in the bar. This is our guest lifter who had missed weight so this is to register a total but ineligible to qualify for a national team or win a national title so mario's second was was pretty slow for a second attempt um we thought maybe two and a half kilos he went five kilos on a jump here so uh maybe he knows something we don't he's gonna smash this thing out of the park you know i've been surprised many times by lifters who Absolutely. get a little bit more hyped up for their third and all of a sudden find another gear Watching from the side and actually doing it is a completely different animal. Get up, get up. See, there we go. That was way better than the second time. Good. See some thumbs up over there. Very good. Yeah, sometimes you just got to believe your actual lifter sometimes. And, you know, it just felt weird. It's okay. You know, like, no, you're not telling me the truth. That looked terrible. No, it comes out and smashes it on the third. That was right. beautiful. Great Commun job. Communication with the coach is key. Dalton Laco, 192.5 for his third and final squat of the day. We're in the 59-kilo class. This, again, will be a 10-kilo PR for Dalton on the squat. That looks good. Beautiful squat. Excellent job. And I think it was good attempt selection. You do a lot more now. You're tempting feet. Picked up some kilos. Good thumbs are up. Lifts good. Very nice. Good, good, good. And again, Dalton's sitting there at three for three. You know, Wasker's coming up now. You know. He's only trailing him by just a little bit on the forecasted total. So, again, let's not sleep on Dalton, guys. 
No, it, listen, if an upset's gonna happen, you're going three for three, if you can go six for six, we know he's got a big deadlift. It is possible, and Wasker Carpio, 59 kilo class, we will stay, 217.5 on the bar. Wasker needs to hit, not only is he battling Dalton, he's also battling the Carpino total he needs. So again, this will tie his personal, or his, his current personal best. So again, we kind of talked before about how he needs to figure out where to find 13 and a half kilos somewhere in that total. It's not going to be on squat today, so hopefully he smashes this, stays even there, and he can gain that somewhere else. He certainly can't lose ground, that's for sure. It's always easier to spread out those 13 and a half kilos over the three lifts. Well, once he makes it, we, once he makes it, then he won't lose any ground. That's right. <laughs> so, but based off the second, I think this is going to be a good lift. He's a gamer. Right on the money. Just waiting on the judges. Now this is I was gonna say that is some anticipation because <laughs> if his dream of being a world at the world championship and possibly a world champion was gonna happen, he needed yep. that third squad. Otherwise, he's losing ground and one thing to make up 13 and a half kilos, but to make up more than that. Wow. But Back to Rodrigo Manzo, 66 kilo class. We stay 225 kilos for his third squat. Five kilo jump from his second. Uh, Were you expecting more? I think this is the right call. I think yeah. the second didn't move as well because he had to go a little bit deeper, you know, because the first one was, was a high squat. So right. I think this is the right call for him for sure. Um, I was worried that he might, you know, try to make up some more ground and try to catch up and then not end up well. So I think this is the right call for him for sure. It's a deadly game when you're playing catch up. Especially with the other guys coming off misses too on their seconds, you know, this is, you know, could put him in a decent position. Let him hear it now, make some noise for Lanzo! There we go, Ooh. very nice. Yeah, I would have to agree. Just two and a half kilos more would have been too much, and it was too much oh, as it still is. High, yeah. yeah. Front and the side. Interesting. Okay. Three left I think Rodrigo's actually here without a coach. I don't think he has a coach. Um, well, he picked the weight appropriately anyways. Yeah, Just need to go to the Great call. Yeah. yeah. And Brian Lee, we stay in the 66s. 242.5 stays on the bar from his second attempt. Brian really needs to hit this because, again, 702.5 is the total he needs to make Team USA. Nearly four times his body weight. So he, he hit 245 when he totaled 710 at his last competition. So it's, it's still a possibility with hitting this for sure. But um, if he doesn't, but, my right, goodness. He's back 15. Then Jonathan's also going. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot that's going to happen in these next three lifters, and we're going to have a, a much clearer idea of what's going to happen potentially. A pivotal moment on, in this battle of the 66s. He's got to sink it. That was better. Look good for my angle. That was better. Ooh. And then that time you got it from the front. The second attempt was both sides were red. This one was the front. Is so, that? Hey, yeah. Hey, you got reds from everybody today, but you know, <laughs> as long as it counted, it's all good. Yeah, I think I'll take it. 242.5. <laughs> and so now the pressure's on Jonathan. That, that just turned the table right there. That's huge. Our last squat. Nicholas Harrison. 74 kilo class, 250 yep. on the bar. Going for uh, Ty and his personal best here. This is almost like a, a like a shootout in like hockey or soccer, where like they're kind of going back and forth, and like one team has the advantage, and all of a sudden they make the now the pressure's on. Right, he just made. Now if we miss this, you know, could potentially be, you know, catastrophic for Jonathan. An action-packed session here. Was there down up? We're zoomed in close, and I, I didn't see from my angle. I think that was good. Yeah, three white lights. There it is. Beautiful. And is it me, or is this house filled up? And it's now all, all types of energy. Can barely hear what's, <laughs> what's going on. 
I see a lot of lifters from tomorrow that are here. Their coaches sitting out there watching this, and here comes a American record attempt and an unofficial world record attempt here by the current world record holder, Jonathan Garcia. 271.5, Jonathan not, Garcia. And not to mention, this is like, I don't want to say it's like a make or break already at this point, but like, he needs this squat. Yes, he does. He doesn't have the, the deadlift potential to gain the ground there. He needs this squat. Judging by the intensity of his face, he knows it. He's he a gamer too. Time it is. He's a gamer. He's good for it. The crowd is on their feet. That's all he has to do is execute. The strength is there. Types of horsepower in that young man. Oh, two reds from the side. I expect his coach to walk over to the jury to give a question on that call. As Just he because should. Why yeah, not? Even if point, it's yeah. he got nothing to lose, everything to gain, including not only records but a national team spot. Arian, his coach, having a discussion with the jury. Give them the business. They're going to discuss and get back to him. We'll start have to hold Talk on about a, a pivotal yeah. discussion as we look <laughs> at the scoreboard. This is the next flight uh, for the bench that was capping off our squats. Yes, yeah, so just a recap on that really quick while they're still discussing. I mean, Jessica, Jessica Espinal hitting the American record in the squat, taking first place there. Um, just Sorry, I'm just kind of looking over. I know, I got an eye over there as well. And looking in the 47s, of course. Yeah, so Jessica Asimov on the lead with Heather with a 137 and a half. Jamie Fisher, a 135. And did you have an update there over the shoulder with the jury? I was, I was trying to figure it out. It doesn't That's look like okay. they're changing it. So. I'll keep us going. Kate Cohen with a 135. They're tied. And Kate being a little heavier, so Jamie slightly ahead. Um, and moving into the 57s, of course, Natalie Richards with 175. Yeah, then we have Waski in first place with the uh, 59s. And then, um, yeah, Jonathan Garcia hits the squat with 152 and a half, but takes that big hit on missing that third attempt and Brian Lee making his third attempt. So that's a big shift in the power right there. And, of course, Nicholas Farrison hitting the 250 to uh, take home the 74 kilos. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break, and we will be back with the bench press event.
welcome back as we kick off the bench press event. We have the 47, 52, and 57 kilo class women's division. Taking a look at the scoreboard, how squats took place. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Aliko and SVD. SVD, of course, running this live stream. And there is Heather Connor. Arguably the 47 kilo go. Two for three in the squad event. Opening with 67.5 kilos for opening bench. Yeah, she dropped down from uh, 70 to 67 and a half in the last minute there. So um, looks like she's just going to play conservative, make sure she gets this one in, and then kind of see where it goes. But again, she knows she has that weapon of the deadlift at the end. So she can kind of play a couple games here, make sure she makes three lifts because uh, her main opponent, Jessica Espinal, has the big, big bench. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, you had said Heather's previous personal best was 75, and 70 might be a little bit close. And Looks there great. we go. Yeah. yeah. Nice, smooth so opener. And Heather back on track. Here's the thing now with the new bench rule. We actually have to wait a little bit on these benches to see about the uh, depth calls. Uh, you know, it's not just as cut and dry as it used to be of like, oh, okay, came off the chest, no problem. That's true. <laughs> and Kate Cohen, we're in the 52 kilo class, 72.5 for opening bench. 77 and a half kilo PR for her. So five kilos below that. Looks to be in line to at least tie that, if not exceed that today. Now, depending on when these lifters qualified, some of them have faced the new bench rule, some of, some of them have not. That's true. I didn't even think about that. that some of them haven't competed this year, haven't been allowed to put their feet on the bench or any of that kind of stuff. So that's, that's interesting that you said that. Literally breathes a sigh of relief. I'm assuming she might not have. <laughs> Kate Johnson, 85 kilos being loaded for her opening bench. Seven kilo class now. Her current PR is 87 and a half. So it looks like her training's been well enough to blast past that today. Three out. Bars loaded for Kay Johnson, 85 kilo opener, 187 pounds. Okay, three for three in squats. We're looking to keep that momentum going. A lot of green on the screen. That's what she wants. That's what everybody wants. And here's something I don't often ask. How did that depth look, sir? <laughs> Three white lights, very nice. Excellent job. Move well up her chest. So here comes Jessica Espinal. This will be a open American record bench press for the uh, 47 kilo class. The current record is 75 kilos, actually set by uh, Noelle Bridgden from Wisconsin. She did that at the uh, at nationals, and then she also did that world, the Masters World Championships this now, year. Now, who is she coached by? Oh, maybe me. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, a massive, massive bench for a 47 kilo lifter. So. And opening with it. Yes. Now, Jessica, I know, coached by the strength guys, Tori Laperrier in particular, they've been working very hard and diligently on this elbow depth. And this will be the uh, big question of the day here. Right on the line. And oh doesn't move. Goodness. And that is a little bit rattling hmm. for an opener. She doesn't look rattled on her face. Jason Tremblay, head of the strength guys, asking her, how did it feel? What are you thinking? And all of a sudden, a discussion has to be had. Yeah, I mean, listen, do they need to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what she's changed on her bench, but, you know, being 10 kilos less than her PR, something has to be alarming there. Hopefully it was just a missed setup or a slip foot or something like that when she comes back and hits that, because um, she obviously needs to put up a big, big bench to uh, compete with Heather here. Megan Hurlburt, 92.5 kilos for her opening bench. 
Five kilos below her current PR. Megan, a guest lifter. And you had mentioned when we were off air, all is not lost for Megan. She can still make national teams, just not the world's national team. Well, not likely anyways. Correct. Yeah, so the, any guest lifters they'll put into the third pot of alternates <laughs> and three white lights for Megan. Um, so likely not becoming a world, a world team slot out of that third pot, but potentially a North American championship slot for sure. Chrissy Parachi, 95 kilos for her opening bench. Chrissy lit up the squats. Yeah, squats were three nice, easy squats. Now, let's see if she can do that with bench press, opening seven kilos less than her PR. The American record in this class is a massive 115 and a half. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That looked good to me. Yeah, I think that's that should be all good. Good. Three white lights. We got the 57 kilo favorite, Natalie Richards, up next. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamie Fisher's up next. I'm sorry. Now, Jamie Fisher, getting ahead of yourself, sir. That's what happens if you try to take my lead. Uh, now, Jamie Fisher, I said earlier, had not benched under the bench rules. I just got corrected. She actually was at Powerlifting America's bench only nationals, and that serves as a good tester here using the bench rule from the IPF on depth. She just has to replicate that depth here today, continue to build her total. Forecasted in first place so far. Interesting sink into the chest there. You see I, you that? Know what? Yeah. I, I did, and I was going to ask you about that, Bill. You see that often? Yeah. Or? No, not normally for someone with a big arch like that. So maybe it's something they've been working on to actually hit the depth. That's kind of give her a half an inch, an inch in there, you know, sink into the chest. But um, that's the first time I've seen that one, and I'm sure it won't be the last time. We'll see that happen all throughout the year, the different international competitions for sure. Yeah, it's different techniques will be developed to hit that elbow depth. Now up next, Natalie Richards. We are in the 57 kilo class. Natalie, 97.5 kilos loaded for her opening bench. 10 kilos less than her current PR. Seems appropriate. Natalie often mentioned along the greats in this division, Jad Jacob, Joy Namani, both world champions. Natalie would love to make it to the world championships and battle it out with those young ladies. But first, Oh, that was smooth. I think everything was all good with that one. I'm going to have a problem calling these without, you know, waiting for the judges now. Cause, yeah. You know, again, my first kind of look at these new rules, so I'm trying to uh, take it all in myself. If you think it's suspenseful for us, imagine the lifters. <laughs> As they look back, Heather Connor, 70 kilos, moving up two and a half kilos from her opener, and in the 47 kilo class in the bench press event. Likely a fairly typical two and a half kilo jump. Yeah, what I do think you think? So. You know, someone that's a, you know, a 70, 75 kilo lifter, um, bench presser, you know, you're going to look at those smaller jumps. I mean, maybe a five from the first to second and then a two and a half from the third. But maybe she just didn't like how it felt and she's just jumping two and a half and kind of padding that total, building her way to um, you know, a potential championship here. And obviously with Jessica missing her first, that door is wide open. Wide open, 70 kilos. Nicely done, too. Slow and steady. I like it. And Heather Connor building some momentum. Interesting. wonder what the yellow might have been about. Maybe her butt came up a little bit. or I do wonder, Is the um, do you know if the depth call is a yellow card? Uh, that's interesting because sure. I haven't actually seen it yeah. used. That's <laughs> right. interesting. It's an interesting question. We'll, we'll get it for you. We got a producer. I think he's looking it up. But <laughs> and Kate Cohen, 77.5 kilos. We're in the 52 kilo class. This will tie her personal best right here with 77 and a half. Five kilo jump. It's sizable. 
Uh, I'm assuming she was a foot on bench person when I see her set up like that from behind the bench press. It's a, it's a red, actually. So a red light for the, um, the elbow depth, okay. Same as the squat, interesting. No doubt on depth there, holy smokes, but yeah. it's a little heavy. Hopefully it was something with the setup or something that she can re remedy on this next third attempt. But she looks a little perplexed at that. Yeah, and you know what? It, it, and that's her, her husband actually handling her there. Yeah, it looked like she might. She definitely went deeper than she needed to, and perhaps it was something to do with the setup. Or, and Jessica Espinal, 87.5 once again. We're in the 47 kilo class. Bill, we've seen people do some adjustments, hit what they previously missed, and judging by the discussion now, I think it might have been where the weight was handed off because she's really stressing where she wants it. Maybe that's all it was. Yeah, hopefully that's all it was for her sakes, absolutely, because she didn't seem too concerned when she walked off. So no. What, you know, so I, I would like to think that that's something she can remedy pretty easily. But we will see right now. Let's see if that handoff is where she wants it. Way better. Oh, wow. Well, now we got to wait. Yeah, give us There we go. All right. She's like, so that's we got, what I was looking for. So we did get a red. So the red light from the side means she got called for depth on one side. But two to one, good lift, and she's back in business Let here. me tell you something. I'm breathing a sigh of relief because this was a heavily hyped battle for this national championships. You would hate for one of those competitors to bomb out. And look how quickly she turns the tide hitting it. Yeah. K. Johnson, 90 kilos for a second attempt in the 57 kilo class we go. I do hope that Jessica does chip something here, considering she can use that later on. Well, I guess she already has the chip from the squat, so she doesn't technically need it. So retract my last statement. Thank you. <laughs> it would be a nice little feather in a cap to grab another national title nevertheless. And what is the national title? Or the, sorry, uh, record sorry. Oh yeah, she just smashed it with that one by 12 right. kilos. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, re rack there. I don't know if it was her heels or butt. I heard feet heel. on the floor. Gotcha. I couldn't can't see the heels from this vantage point, but I can hear Arian's voice yelling, put your heels on the floor. So and that's what your coach is supposed to do. And Arian, obviously a coach or a referee himself. Nah, timed out. Timed out. Do yeah. Okay, going. Arian going back to the jury. He's like living there today. <laughs> He's racking up frequent flyer visits there. <laughs> All right. So that'll be a missed lift for Kay Johnson on that one. So she'll come back and repeat that 90 kilos. One would think. And up next. Chance Mitchell, reigning 93 kilo world champion, who's got to battle himself tomorrow, don't miss it, against Bryce Lewis, former world champion, handling Megan Hurlburt in the, well, guest lifter class. <laughs> in the let's put up the best total possible and see what happens in the ultimate pool class. That's right. Let's see, this will tie Megan's PR. Something's going on. Going 97 and a half kilos. Oh, okay. oh, they haven't started the clock, but she gets some extra time. That's good for her. There we go. Nice bench. Good. I expect a two and a half kilo jump from there. Three white lights from, from Megan. Megan having a good day. And the bar being loaded, 102.5 kilos for Chrissy Parachi. A big jump from opener to second for you know someone benching around 100 kilos. But uh, yeah, she's used to it. She normally takes this kind of jump, so shouldn't be an issue for her. This is a two plate bench press for. This is a big bench press in the 57 kilo class. So tie her um, all time PR too. Interested in how this moves. Tying her PR under new bench rules. Wow, 
Wow. On her second attempt. Yeah, <laughs> and it moved like a second attempt. Let's just wait for a second. There we go. Three white lights. Beautiful. That was great. Really, really good. That was an absolute solid bench press. Well, Jamie Fisher in the 52 kilo class, 103 kilos. And Bill, when you see a chip loaded, what does that mean, sir? Guacamole is near. Now, it's a, an American record attempt coming up here for Jamie Fisher. 102.5 is the current um, record by Marissa Inda. She said it last year. So 103 is coming. Marissa Inda, legend of the game, former world champion. Not here to defend her title, so that is now up for grabs. Jamie would love to take it, as well as that national team spot that Marissa had last year. Let's see if she could start by taking that record. That's a different benching style, isn't it, Bill? Yeah. That is good. Again, one red from the side, but all good. Two to one. Beautiful. New American record. Beautiful job. Yeah, it's, it's, that was almost like it looks like she lost the bench and then also just fires it up, man. That's what it is. I'm just about to say, oh, did she lose tension? Did she? No, she's kicking into overdrive, as it were. And Natalie Richards, 105 kilos for a second attempt. Heather Connor on deck behind her. You want to stop big arches and change the rules? Well, guess what? People are going to change the way they bench and still has the same arch. Just going to sink that thing in a little bit. I like it. I like it. The innovator. We're going to start calling it the Fisher bench soon. Mark my words. <laughs> Patent pending. Seven and a half kilo jump for Natalie here. Just below her PR. Yeah, we'll see how this moves. If she jumps up two and a half kilos, match her previous personal best, or? Yeah. Wow, okay, well, what do you think then? It depends what the goals are here today. If she's just trying to cruise to a title, you know, hit the Carpino number and call it a day, then you take two and a half and go for it and move on. But if she's trying to push it and go for that big, big total, then five kilos is the play. That's the discussion they'll have in the back, but in the front we have Heather Connors, 72.5, loaded on the bar for her third and final bench. I think this is a good call. Just wants to make some lifts here. Yeah. Second one moved fine. It wasn't great, it wasn't bad, it was fine. It moved average by, so for her jumping two and a half kilos here is the right call. She sets this up right, it should be no problem. Jessica Espinal obviously missing her opener, retaking and hitting. We'll see where she ends up, but Heather gaining some ground in the bench press event. So 70 was all Heather had today, which is fine. Good. She leaves with two benches and two squats heading into deadlift, but deadlift's her baby, man. That's where she has the... That you, big advantage, so we'll see. You can That's never so count well, out a big deadlifter. And there's never a better reminder as having Chance Mitchell in the house roaming around as a cautionary tale. And Kate Cohen, 77.5. She looked a little bit puzzled after the second. She thought that was going to move. Let's see if she can make some adjustments. We, are, we already seen here today where small adjustments make a big factor when it comes to the bench press. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, doing the self handoff as well, so she can't blame the handoff guy this time. Now, I, still, I, I imagine I still would somehow. Yeah, it looks steady and looks like there's no issues there. Too heavy today. Uh, it, it might be a strength factor. Yeah. I'll tell you what, with Kate, though, she's got a big deadlift. Yeah. Absolutely. So she ends up with two for three on the squats, one for three on the bench, heading into the deadlifts. And Kay Johnson, 90 kilos for her third and final bench, misses on her second. Retaking it here. She timed out on her second attempt. Ah, uh, that's right. Her heels were up, so expect her, as soon as bar's loaded, to be thrown out there to try to get as many chances as possible of getting her heels down. 
kilos. There we go, just like I called it. Good, so good setup here, get the heels down. Yeah, I expect her not to make that mistake twice. But now you see that the, the referees are looking extra now because of that. That's why I kind of talked about earlier, with, you know, making sure that opener is nice and easy, you know, so the judges kind of relax on you a little bit. We got a good view of the heels <laughs> this time. Yeah, looks fine to me. There we go. Looked a little untidy on the on the when she got it down to her chest. It was that was all mental. Get my heels down. Forget about everything else. Uh, right? you know what? And that's the thing when yeah, under pressure, you're hyper focused in one area and all of a sudden a little looser in others. But she established herself into the deadlifts with that opening bench. And speaking of the opening bench, Jessica Espinal bounced back after missing hers, got 87 and a half, opting to move to 90.5, which is an American national record attempt. We're in the 47 kilo class. And she could use these extra kilos in her battle with Heather Carter. Yep, trying to up that record she just hit, you know, seven minutes ago from 87.5 to 90.5. And again, every kilo is going to count in this class for sure. You cannot count Heather out. Her deadlift can mitigate leads very quickly. This is two and a half kilos more Heather's going to have to deadlift if she can hit it. They held her there for a while. I thought that was going to be, I wasn't sure. <laughs> and she looks back. The suspense. Yay! Yeah. See her face? That was funny. <laughs> it actually adds an element of drama, a layer of excitement on these. Her face was just too much on that one. That was good. But that could be a pivotal two kilos. We'll have to see. And Megan Herbert. Guest lifter, she's in the 57 kilo class now. She can't win that title, but she can make her way onto a U.S. national team. Likely not the world's team, but there are other teams to go. PR attempt here for her with 100 kilos. As well as personal records. Scrappy third attempt. That's good. Three white lights. Beautiful. Nice work. So, Megan, even with the hard weight cut and everything, obviously not making weight six for six so far. You don't really normally see that. So good, good on her for that, for sure. So maybe she altered the game plan or whatever it was. But you know, smart, smart play. Look at yeah. All is not lost. It shows character and heart to pull it together. And this Jamie Fisher, 105 on the bar. This is going to be a national record as well. Now, opting not for the chip, though. Yeah, maybe she's at the point where she doesn't feel she needs it, potentially, or maybe they just didn't do it. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. We'll see if it comes down to that, but Jamie looking to go three for three, break her own record. Untidy, but let's see if it passes. Two reds and a yellow, so it becomes like a moot point. Two depths and a butt, maybe. But regardless, still ends up with the American record, 103 kilos. So now she's four for six going into the deadlifts. Chrissy hit 102.5 in her second, and we thought it moved really well. 107.5. I'm expecting five kilos doesn't break the bank. What do you think? This is her all-time PR. I mean, her PR was 102.5. So it moved like a second, though. Yeah. yeah it, no, absolutely did. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you know she's kind of in uncharted territory, as you know, as far as meets go. But yes, based off of the 102.5, 107.5 should be there. Possible PR day for Chrissy. Oh, she lost it by her head. Wow, wow. does she have horsepower, though? <laughs> Talk about heart. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Her butt pop, yeah. But that was a good display of horsepower and heart. 
Hey, Jim PR. Yeah, that would have been a Jim <laughs> PR all day. Entertaining, nevertheless. We couldn't see that thing from the side, but you can see moving toward. I mean, that thing had to go back and forth towards her head, back to her chest, back to her head, back to her chest. Yeah, well, she was driving. She would have got pulled over. Natalie Richards, <laughs> 110, five kilo jump. We're in the 57 kilo class. So Natalie. She, if she hits this, this sets her up where her opener will solidify her hitting that Carpino one total. Her opening deadlift will hit that if she hits this bench press. And that'll take a lot of pressure off. Hit this, hit your opening dead. You've already made the bigger picture goal. Oh, okay. But not yet. Not yet. Her ticket to Malta is not yet punched, but she's got plenty of lifting to go with the deadlifts. Big smile, so it looks like no injury there or anything. Just a, just a little bit too much for today. You got to shrug it off. There's a lot of lifting left. And David Barubi, 50 kilos, as we move into the men's flight here, 59 kilos, 66 kilos, and 74 kilo classes. This is 17 and a half kilos below David's PR, but he also opened quite light in the de in the bench press or the I'm sorry the squat as well, so I expect this to move like a rocket ship like his squats did. Women's division, the women really pushing themselves, going two misses or sorry two hits and six misses in their third attempts. It just so happens the two women who made it are sitting there in first place. Beautiful. Nice bench. No doubt on depth. <laughs> Fist bump with LS McLean and Logan Dwyer. We are in the 74 kilo class. 67.5 kilos. Uh, you did say before you, you talked to him about a sh little shoulder ding up, right? Yep. Let's see where he is. Yeah, 85 is his current PR. So he's about 17 kilos below that. So yeah, just in line with that for sure. And we'll see how that works. He's waving off the lift off. Logan telling me over breakfast, he saw Taylor Atwood approached him and said, I think I'm gonna get squashed by you later on today, sir. Guess what? Dad, he's <laughs> got the bigger total today. <laughs> That's well, <laughs> a moral victory, I suppose. It was great. I wonder if it's his left side, because you, you, you can see it like shaking on lockout there. Um, it moved great during the whole thing, but it was a little bit shaky, um, just, you know, kind of holding it statically. Yep, you saw Spigari checking in on him afterwards. How does the shoulder feel? Look like he said good, so expecting him to come back out. And Mario Leos, also guest lifter, 122.5. Where was Mario looking to get the weight class? He, was the he would have been the 59th, but he was three and a half kilos above that. So, so Mario might end up on the national team for in the 66s uh, for possible North Americans. Unless he reverts back to equipment and gives him one more go in the 59s. Mario, 122.5. Looks good. Let's check on the depth here. Still waiting. Looks like thumbs up to me. Yep, it's going to be a good lift. Three white lights, and we're in the 59 kilo class for Oscar Carpio. 125 for his opening bench. Now, Oscar. Three for three in the squats. Yep, tying his current PR. And we had mentioned he needs 13.5 kilos added on to his total to make the Carpino one. He tied his previous personal best in squats. He needs to cover ground, you would suppose, if the World Championships is his goal, and believe me, it is. This will be, looks like 12 and a half kilos less than his PR. So again, now we're 12 and a half kilos away from a PR. Right, so hey, that's right. a lot of ground to cover yeah. here. If when for you do a 59 the math. kilo lifter on a bench press. So you have to hit the PR and then some, unless he loads up like crazy on his final deadlift. How exciting would that be? Well, let's see what this looks like. 
Yeah, beautiful. That is smooth. Now, is it 17 and a half to 20 kilos smooth? I don't know, but no, I, I believe it's going to be probably a seven and a half kilo jump here. Uh, yeah, I like I over the think. course of the three. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so I could see, you know, a potential. It's on the table. Two and a half kilo PR potentially. Yeah, to a five. I wouldn't wouldn't bet against that. But again, those are some big jumps, though. Still, you thought I was getting ambitious about a twenty kilo jump. <laughs> yeah. You're like, well, Ryan, I don't know what you're being pulled. Yeah, exactly. Ryan, pull it back a little. Dalton Laco, fifty nine kilos, one twenty seven point five for his opening bench. This isn't the uh, home run derby uh, bench only me. Come on. <laughs> Nice and smooth for Dalton. And that ties, that ties Dalton's PR right there. So Dalton's putting together a big day right there. 10 kilo PR in the in the squat. Just tied it on his opener, his PR on the bench. So his kilos are going to add yep. up. And he can surprise people. Brian Lee, 147.5 kilos for his opening bench. We return to the 66 kilo class. Brian, a monster deadlifter but he needs to pick up some kilos in the bench because he's not only trying to defeat Jonathan Garcia, but also manage a 702.5 kilo total, and that is no small feat. That is the qualifying total he needs to make it onto Team USA for the World Championships. This is 12 and a half kilos less than his current PR. Self handoff. Looks solid Start all around. Rack, 325 pounds and three, white three white lights, beautiful. And it should be said, if you don't hit the Carpino, it's not necessarily over and done with your chances. It just diminishes it. Yeah, it's a, um, a tough process, and we're not going to go into depth about it. But basically, if you don't hit that, you get jumped into an alternate pool. And then um, from there, they'll end up you know, using a different Carpino process to get there. So. Yeah, you yeah. would like to just all is not yeah all is not lost, but it does look grim, especially with the Sheffield competitors coming up as the second option for um, making the team. Well said, Rodrigo Manzo, one fifty. We stay in the sixty-six kilo class. That was fast. That looked nice. There we go. Three white uh, lights. Beautiful. White lights. Nice work. Nicholas Ferrison is the next right. looker. Bar weight stays the same. Garcia on deck. Nicholas Ferrison, 74 kilo forward. class. 150 Lillian kilos Ferrison. on the bar for his opening bench. Nicholas going three for three in the squat event, yep. finishing with a 250 kilo squat. That's a nice squat in the 74 kilo class. Yeah, this bench is uh, 10 kilos below his PR. So he's just putting together a nice day so far. P, you know, he tied his PR in the squat, doing that at nationals as opposed to a local meet. It was a huge deal. Um, and then obviously, you know, if you're just tuning in now, Taylor Atwood is not competing today. So Nicholas is the front runner for the 74 kilo class. It's quite a lineage to be a part of, Taylor Atwood, then yourself. Now, if you're wondering, what the qualifying total would be to make it to the American National Team for the World Championship in the 74s. Because Taylor Atwood has jacked that total up with multiple appearances at the World Championships, Bill, what is that qualifying total? Uh, 769 and a half kilos. And that is a monster ask of any 74. Jonathan Garcia, 162.5. Garcia. We will stay in the 66 kilo class. A monster ass because no one except for Taylor Atwood in the IPF has ever hit that number. So yeah, <laughs> well that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> uh, actually, as a well, I guess like um, buckling back in the day. No, uh, I can't remember. No. Well, anyway, we'll put a pin in there. I think he might have been a little over uh, weight. I think he was like seventy-seven, and that was one of the meets where he hit mm -hmm. seven. Yeah. Back to our trivia game, aren't we, Bill? Jonathan Garcia, 
makes easy work, 162.5. Oh, two to one on that one. I always feel bad for his ribs, how hard he smashes into those things with that bar on the bench press. But hey, he's got the American record, and he fires that thing right back up, so more power to him. Jonathan, a phenomenal bencher. If you can cover some ground here, you know, it's not often you say people are going to cover ground in the bench press. Jonathan Cat. And David Caruby, we are back in the 59 kilo class. 55 kilos on the bar for a second bench. Yeah, close grip bench on the first one, move fantastic. I don't see this being an issue here for him, and his current PR is 67 and a half, so this should be well in hand. And David has calmed himself to be hitting these commands, including the rack command. Remember earlier in the squat, yes. a little excited. Came close to jumping, but didn't. But he's calmed himself considerably in nice, tidy lifting. Logan Dwyer, 74 kilo class. Coming out to 72.5 kilos. Yep. First one moved great. Took a conservative five kilo jump here. Like you said, he has a little bit of a shoulder issue. So that goes in hand with what he did in the squats too. Just nice conservative day. I wonder what he's going to do in the deadlift event. Do you go all out? How badly does the shoulder issue hurt you on deadlifts? I guess it depends what it, depends, it is. It depends <laughs> what it is, yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of times if you have a shoulder issue, deadlifting, holding the bar can actually make it feel really nice, stretching that thing out too. Oh, well, so. that's nice. <laughs> Five kilo jump, handles it well. 160 pounds, start press rack, three light lights, the lift is good for Logan. Yeah, nice. We are now unofficially in the 66 kilo class. Mario, guest lifter, cannot win the 66 kilo title. 130 kilos loaded for a second attempt, which will tie his current PR. Loaded for Leos. And he's, he's definitely fluctuated between his career, between 59 and 66, so. Um, sometimes planned, sometimes not. Yeah, I think today potentially could have been planned considering it was, um, what did he ended up over here? Where is it? Uh, you know, three and a half kilos above. Wow. So I don't think that was a mistake at least. Or at least he knew early enough to <laughs> get on the breakfast buffet. Oh, it's a fight though, Bill. Hey, his second second squat was a grind too. His third came out and looked so much better. So could just be a misgroove, we'll see. But yeah, I mean I, I would assume a two and a half kilo jump on that would be the conservative part there. Based off of how slow that moved. Wasker, 132.5 kilos for a second attempt. We're in the 59 kilo class, a seven and a half kilo jump. Bill, how close are we getting to his top end? Yeah, so uh, 137 and a half was his PR coming into this meet. So, you know, taking a seven and a half kilo jump, and then he's, I'm assuming that this is going to go well. He's going to have to decide whether he's going to tie it or, you know, break that by two and a half kilos. But we'll see how this moves first. I mean, there's the thing when you want to get ambitious and break your previous PR, but if you miss, you move forward with only your second attempt, or you're even further back from that Carpino one qualifying total. It's a tough conversation to have. Let's see how this moves. Okay. Move nice. Bill, after seeing that, you're a handler. What do you think? Without knowing what he has going on in the deadlift, you know, to me, it's you take the five because you, you can't lose ground, right? You can't lose the ground. You take the five and you hope that it's there on the deadlift. Based off of where his opener is on the deadlift, it looks like he's going to hit a nice size PR. So I think that you're going to have to play that and you take the five kilos, tie the PR and plan it all on the deadlift at the end. Oh my goodness, stay tuned for the deadlifts because that is gonna be dramatic. Dalton Laco, 132.5, five kilo jump from his opener. This will be a five kilo PR for Dalton. Right. 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 Looks 
That's great. I mean, Dalton's got those long arms, which is great for the deadlift, but yeah. not so great for the bench press. No, that's the thing <laughs> that we often see in powerlifting. You know, the levers can favor one lift, but hurt you in another. But that moved great. I expect another two and a half to five for Dalton. Good. Three white and there's Brian Lee in the wings. 152.5 for his second attempt. Five kilos up from his opener. Brian's another one now where you just gotta make three benches, stay conservative on that, and then just let kind of let it roll in the deadlift because he can pull it. It's just a matter if he can hold on to it at the end. Now he can for a 66 kilo, 145 pound man. Brian can deadlift over 700 pounds. He can pull himself onto that national team. But to your point, he's got to deadlift less and less the more benches he hits. Yep. Oh, wow. It's a bit of a scrap, though. Yeah. And he shakes his head a little yeah. bit. Yeah. As though he was not expecting that kind of a fight. Definitely looked like he lost tightness on his chest, for sure. It looked a little bit loosey-goosey. Um, but that's also 7.5 kilos less than his PR, so that's surprising that it moved that way. So maybe it was just a little mismanagement of the, the lift. But again, where he's looking to go... I'm guessing it's two and a half kilos. Just stack a couple more on there, and then gives you less to deadlift at the end. Rodrigo Manzo, 157.5 kilos loaded on the bar for him. Just looking back real quick. So Wasker has gone for the tie of the PR, and Dalton's gone up two and a half kilos. So they'll both be um, you know, 137 and 135, respectively. You got that little heave technique. You got to watch for the butt here. So yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Blues though, which is not the butt. So that's interesting. He's asking right now yeah. what it was. So like elbows, I guess. Well, elbows should be red, I think. So it's. I'm not sure. No, no, I meant elbow lockout. I'm sorry. Like sorry, loose sorry elbows. soft elbows. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Soft gotcha. elbows. Now, now it's. Uh, I'm not used yeah. To it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicholas Ferrison. 157.5 kilos in the bar for his second attempt. Seven and a half kilos up from his opener. Two and a half less than his current PR. He hits this, it'll set him up for a nice PR attempt on his third. Pacing nicely to take the 74 kilo total and title. Nice. 347 pounds in the lift is good. Look good. I'm expecting probably another two and a half on that one, to be honest with you. Yeah, for an extra two and a half kilos, it's not always worth it to empty the tank and grind something up. Yeah. Especially with deadlift around the corner, you could keep that gas in the tank and load up on a deadlift and gain another seven and a half instead. Jonathan Garcia, 172.5. He's jumping up 10 kilos, and you don't often see 10 kilo jumps in the bench press for the 66 kilo men's division, but Jonathan, a monster bencher. Yeah, so the current American record is 173, and which is Jonathan's record as well. So obviously they have something much bigger planned, so they're not even bothering chipping that on this one here. We're just taking that 10 kilo jump, and then yeah, maybe we see a 180 plus bench coming up. But you know, if if his training is any indication, I that's what I would suspect. Yeah, that's the type of weights he'd be handling in training on a regular basis. Yeah. yeah. And that looks like a uh, second attempt should. So that's why they would balk at the chip, leave it for the third. They think they got a lot more in the tank. 180.5, I think. What do you think? I think he goes up seven, eight, eight kilos, seven and a half, eight kilos. Yeah, you know what? I think they're kind of got to go all in. The, seeing how s squats went, um, or, yeah, he's, or, or he's not worried about defending silver or anything like that. Like he's He's got to go all in. So maybe go 10 kilos then. Maybe he goes like 183. I can yeah. see that. We'll see in a minute. But yeah, David, in that logic, right? You gotta basically like we gotta gain some ground chips somewhere. To the middle. So we gotta go, yeah. David Barubi, 59 kilo class, 60 kilos loaded on the bar for him. Oh. 
Very speedy. Three for three. Yeah. So Garcia, we were both wrong. He went 178, which will be a, a five and a half kilo jump from where he's at. So I mean, I think that's definitely in hand for sure. But we were we were kind of thinking of like, uh, you know, we were ambitious. Put the, put the game on the table, kind of thing. But yeah, look at looking at his his bench um, in training. Looked like it might have been there, but we're not pervy to the discussions they have in the back. Of course. Logan Dwyer, 77.5. I just say that so we're never wrong. You understand? <laughs> I'm setting us up. <laughs> it's the disclaimers I use. Bill, you'll use them too. <laughs> we have headphones on. We can't hear what's <laughs> going right. on. Sorry, guys. Five kilo jump for Logan. Pounds to Solid bench press for Logan. Three Logan white lights. Six he is six for six. six. He looks smitten with it. Again, like we talked about before, doesn't necessarily always have to be all PRs all the time. He made he's six for six. He's well under his PRs, and he's happy as can be because he's here at nationals competing, loving life. Yeah. Mario Leos. 132.5. Yeah, like we talked before, his second one was, was tough, was very tough. But he surprised us in the squad, so I fully expect him to surprise us here with this bench press. Gonna make it look like a nice, easy second attempt here. Nice and fast. <laughs> You know, you had said it was, it would be a big ask. Yeah. Ran out of gas there, because it was a little bit too much today. But he got as much as he could with the 130, right? So he didn't lose any ground. That's the fun thing about bench press is if you take those smaller jumps sometimes, you know, yes, you miss, but you get everything out you can kind of thing, right? So he, all he could do was 130, tried 132, wasn't there. No harm, no foul. Yeah, if he was always going to be faded with a 130, he got there. Dalton Laco. 135 for his third and final, two and a half kilo jump. We are in the 59 kilo class. Dalton hasn't missed a lift yet today and wants to ride that momentum right into the deadlifts. Yeah, that's one thing. I mean, I've handled Dalton at a couple of different world championships and like he is consistent. He will go eight for eight and then you put something big on the on the last deadlift and see what happens kind of deal. So six for six for him, you know, right in line with what exactly what I expected. And then we'll see what happens when it comes to the deadlifts. Oscar, we're back in the 59 kilo class, 137.5. So again, tying his PR to PR bench press here. So kind of like we talked about, they're putting every all the chips into the deadlift, saying we got to build up that ground, we got to make up that ground. It's going to be in the deadlift. Yeah, Grant, it, granted, he makes this, of course. It is such a a massive importance on every single lift when you're chasing a PR total in a monstrous PR total like six thirteen point five in the fifty nine kilo class. So just to throw out while he's setting up, his PR deadlift is 245. He's opening with 242 and a half. Wow. So they have faith in the deadlift. Maybe that's the plan. Looks good. Check the, uh, on the depth. Let's see. Beautiful. Three wide lights. Nice. Six for six. Ties his PRs in the squat. Ties his PR in bench. So he's right in line now. Maybe if his opener's an indication, the 13.5 is all in on the final lift. Potentially, yeah. Six, six kilo class now. Rodrigo Manzo, 160 kilos, missed 157.5, opting to go up two and a half kilos nevertheless. I believe he'd get called for his butt on the second attempt. He got yellow cards. And he does have that little bit of a heave type motion where you know, he has a lot of leg drive and it makes it look like his butt's definitely coming up when he's doing that. So even though it might not be, but it really gives the uh, the illusion of it. Yeah, difficult to say from this positioning. 
take the word of the refs. We're in a better position. Move great, but again, we can't see the, the hips from the side, so. Oh, we cannot. Start press rack, the and again, you got a yellow and a blue, so we got Two one for not locking out potentially, and one for um, his butt coming up. And he looks like he's miffed. We're coming over to the jury to check out what's going on. They're going to have a discussion with the jury. Yeah, they're going to check him out, which is good. A good jury will do that find out what the actual calls were for before they actually rule on it. Nicholas Ferrison, 160 kilos. Tying his, this will tie his current PR. And I believe he did the same in terms of tying PRs in the squat. Yep. And that was the right call. 353 pounds. That was who was there today. Yeah. I think they're getting all they can out of him. All right, Mr. Garcia. Now, I'm taking a look and seeing if Manzo's bench is getting ruled good. Still reading, look like it. Still reading red on the scorecard, so. Jonathan Garcia, 178. Jonathan attempting an American record in his third and final bench. We're in the 66 kilo class. We should note too that Brian Lee has opted to skip his third bench press, so he's going to finish with the 152 and a half. Well, so this will be an American record here for Jonathan. 178. Too much. Look at we were a little wildly ambitious then. We were throwing those numbers out earlier. And talking about Brian Lee, uh, as you do the math, if he needs 702.5, and there's a scoreboard there, um, he actually would be pacing properly for the deadlift. Looking at his opener with the forecast, he could cover that ground in the deadlift and not really risk too much. Empty the tank in the bench press. What do you think of that? Well, yeah, but he also has to tie his all-time PR in the deadlift to get there at 307.5. So, again, totally capable of it, obviously. Right. Um, and I assume that his training's been good enough where he's going to go, wants to go above and beyond that. But... It's that tough it's still, discussion. It's still a PR, man. Like, you know. Yeah, it's. You load it's, that up. It's not easy. It is going to be exciting. Do not go anywhere. We're going to take a short break and come back with the deadlifts.
We are back live in Austin, Texas. The Powerlifting American Nationals 47, 52, 57 kilo classes in the women's. And on the men's, we have the 59, 66, and 74 kilo classes. And there is a peek at the scoreboard, Bill. I am Ryan Six Pack Labadette, accompanied in a booth by Bill McCarthy. And it, it's a lot of data to digest due to having six weight classes at you, but we have some people itching ever closer, not only to the national title, but also hitting the qualifying total needed to make the Team USA. And Kay Johnson, 147.5 for opening poll as a 57. Very fast pull for something seven kilos below her PR. So that's great. Three white lights for her. And that's talking to her in the back. I know we had said she had done two competitions previously. She said she had also done one in 2016. Uh, yes. So that's kind of secretly a veteran, but secretly <laughs> not, you know, but on the surface not. There's a story back there. And Megan Hurlbert, 160 for her opening deadlift. Megan in the 57 kilo class right now. She won't be able to take that 57 kilo title, but as a guest lifter, might still end up on a national team of sorts. This is uh, 15 kilos below her current PR. Conventional puller. Don't know how many of those we're gonna see this afternoon. Makes easy work of 160. Very nice. Jamie Fisher, almost forgetting to take out those earbuds. 160 stays on the bar for her, and we are in the 52 kilo class. 10 kilos below her current PR. This will put her in a nice position here in first place in the 52 kilo class. No belt either. Smooth pull. Looks nice. For the lights, there we go. Yeah, we're not lights. taking anything for granted. Want to <laughs> see those lights before she leaves. <laughs> She's in first place. Jessica Espinal, 162.5. Jessica in the 47 kilo class. She's sitting in first place right now on subtotal. She'll be in first place after openers on the forecasted total. So, um, what's the spread if they both hit their opener though on that forecast? Uh, looks like it'll be eight and, no, no, I'm sorry. What is that, eight and a half kilos, it looks like, yeah. So very close. Those chips come into play for Jessica, for sure, in the squat and bench. Wow, that was easy. A lot more to tank. She's got that early knee lock out there, which could lead to some wobbling later. Hopefully not, but we'll see how that looks. It makes you nervous, does it, Bill? Of course. Stitch, yeah. Of course it does. But we're in Nationals, everything makes me nervous. Come on. <laughs> and Chrissy Max Power, 170 for opening pole in the 57 kilo class. I expect this to move quite fast and have a big jump here. This is 22 kilos below her current PR. Two-time national champion, 170 bar is loaded. Christina Paracchi. 375 pounds, give her a round of Five for six days so far going into this. Only miss was a big uh, bench press PR attempt. And we got another conventional puller. Chrissy powers up before that deadlift. 
move nice. well. You, you can see that thing roll forward pretty good too. She recovered from it, so I expect her to lock that in a little bit better on the second attempt. And the second might actually move even better than the first one did. Yeah, she wasn't exactly thrilled as she walked off the platform, and Kate Cohen won 72.5 for her opening deadlift. Five kilos below her current PR. And judging by her training numbers, Kate might be hitting a new PR today, but let's see how this goes. Kate's got a big deadlift on her. And again, she does not cut any weight to make 52 kilos. So her training numbers, a lot more likely to translate over. Translate sure. over, thank you, sir. Look at us finishing each other's sentences already on day one. 172.5, move well. Old married couple already. Look at that. <laughs> it's good. It puts her solidly in the second place there in the 52 kilo class. Heather Connor, 180 kilos for her opener. That's a monster opener. Yeah, man. I mean, what are we looking at? 12 and a half kilos less than her PR total? Her PR deadlift, I'm sorry. And we've seen her gym hits. I mean, she's been consistently hitting in the 200s. So we could see something pretty big from her coming here. I spoke with her. She's battling some injuries, but she's got heart. And she said, I said, are you going to pull? She goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No questions asked. She's going to leave it on the platform regardless. Battling injuries, and you're still 12 and a half kilos below your PR on a opener. I like it. She's going out on her shield if she's going to go out. Talking to herself. There's the hair flip. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting, that was a long, they made her hold it there for a while before it got the down command. Or maybe she just didn't hear it, potentially. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. But uh, that moved well. I mean, puts her solidly in second place here. Still sitting behind Jessica Espinal. And 198 oh, kilos. She's going literally for the number exactly on the opener here. This will be 478 total. This will lock her in for Malta. World team right here. She hits this. And, and okay, I'm, I'm going to throw this out really quick. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Her last nationals. She did not record a deadlift. This is, you have to have the most up faith in her right now if you're her coach. Now, I'm not saying she's not going to make this at all. It's probably going to move very well, but it just seems very risky at this point to kind of go through here, especially after her last meet like that at Nationals, not what, going what well. What a setup for an opener, Bill. Yeah, man. You, you rarely see an opener that's exciting. And then smashes it, hold on to it. And yeah, seal the deal. Here we go. Three white it. lights and we seal it. Beautiful. Nice work. And she look at for an opener. Yeah. How happy is she but <laughs> like you had said, already clinched herself yeah. a ticket to Malta, unless there's a major surprise, but that should be <laughs> it. Um, so there, and that's the dream, the world championships. Yeah. She came out, she exactly wanted to do exactly what she wanted to do. She's seven, or I'm sorry, six for seven so far, hit the total she needed. She's in first place, good to go. So now she can shoot her shot for something bigger, potentially. Kay Johnson, 157.5 for her second attempt. We are in the 57 kilo class still. 10 kilo jump from her opener. And this will be a PR for her, two kilo PR. Opener moved great, so I'd expect this to look move the same way. Slow on lockout, but nailed it. Good. Three white lights. Expect probably a two to five kilo jump on her third attempt there. Get a little adrenaline rolling, a little hype up, a little smack in the face, and get to go. Jamie Fisher, 167.5 for her second attempt in the 52 kilo class. This will be two and a half kilos less than her PR on the deadlift, and it'll put her within 10 kilos of her uh, total PR as well. 
She's fighting off Kate Cohen for that championship here in the 52s. Again, beltless. Yeah, Jamie really wants to close the door on the discussion with Kate and start pulling ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seemed to be some up and down there. She shrugs and hopefully can shrug it off. Another lift to go. And if you're in Kate Cohen's camp, yeah, it opens the door slightly for... It's, yeah, it's a big ask, yeah. but it's there. Two deadlifts left. Jessica Espinal, 170 for a second attempt. Seven and a half kilo jump. So Jessica is up... Um, was about seven and a half kilos right now. Um, she took a seven and a half kilo jump to her second. Heather matched that jump, so you know if they both make it, they're still going to be. Um, Jessica will still be in the lead right now. Can she keep the pace? Now, having said that, if Jessica misses and Heather hits, we'll have to see how this goes. I'm sorry, her lead is eight and a half kilos. I'm sorry. That was smooth. Good. She's now 16 kilos up on Heather. With Heather still have a second pull, pull to go. So and it's going to come down to the last pull, like we thought, for sure. And how close is she to hitting that Carpino? She just nailed it. 403.5. So one goal down. Yep. Jessica has hit it. Heather will be um, still short on that on her second attempt. But we'll see from there. Megan Hurlbert, 172.5. Two and a half. Second, yep, sorry, two and a half kilos less than her PR right now. But we'll lock in the PR total with this and move quite fast. A little wobbly on top there, a little untidy, like you have to call it. It, it is a shit. And she does end up, yeah. So again, rocket ship off the floor, just untidy on top. And yeah. So it looked like a lock and unlock potential situation. Chance, the look on Chance Mitchell's face was he, he saw that call coming. Yeah. Chrissy back, 177.5. A little less than I thought she would. I thought she would take a much bigger jump than this, to be honest with you. But good on her for making some lifts. One seventy seven point five. Yeah, seven and a half kilo jump for Chrissy. Still fifteen kilos below her PR deadlift. Yeah, see much better there. Didn't roll forward. Yeah, a little smoother despite it. Yeah, we all have waiting on the lights, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the intensity on the face. Oh, yep, thumbs up. There we go. There we go. Three white lights. Beautiful. And what do you think for a jump there? Probably five kilos, I think. I think she'll end up with like 182 and a half, probably. Kate Cohen, 180 kilos loaded for her. Yeah, so with uh, Jamie Fisher missing her second attempt, the door's open slightly. It's a crack, but it is open there. Um, she makes this. This will put her within 11 kilos of first place so she, I mean yeah. she could load up 11 kilos on a jump isn't crazy for a deadlift yeah. let's see how this moves yeah, absolutely oh my gosh uh, no. was there down we'll see on top there it looked a little bit oh through no. the lights good All perfect right. yeah. now listen yeah. I don't know. I, I, we've seen that would be a remarkable comeback if she could pull this off. All right, well, here comes. Talking about remarkable comebacks and pulling it off, Heather Connor, 187.5. Okay. Bill, you're going to say? This is going to put her at uh, 395 total, so she'll be six kilos shy of that Carpino qualifying total. But she's also, as we sit right now, 16 kilos behind Bar Jessica Hillary for first place. So that Carpino total doesn't really mean much at this moment if you don't have first place attached to it. So then you kind of get thrown into the alternate pool later. So goal number one has to be winning this championship. So we'll see how this moves and see if she can 
see how this plays out with this because this is going to get interesting real quick. Battling injury and loading up regardless. Good. That was five kilos below her PR deadlift. Yeah, Looks good. She's happy. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, let's go ahead. I was going to say, so Heather's going to have to throw on at least another, depending on what happens with Jessica. So I guess we'll wait, let that play out and we'll see. Sorry. Natalie Richards, 210 kilos. Natalie already hit the Carpino one total she needs to solidify herself on Team USA. Now looking to increase her total and send a message to the other 57s of the world. This will be a five kilo, five kilos under her deadlift PR and put her at 490 total if she hits this. 495.5 is the world record, if you're wondering. All right. Oh, wow. I like that. That was nice. Could she unofficially hit the world record today? Yeah. Yes, I think absolutely it's there if she wants to go another seven and a half or six kilos or whatever that number is. Um, yeah, that's above. She's above the... Um, the American record, so she can chip it and go exactly if she wanted to, just to kind of prove a point now, you know, put a little stamp on it. Jamie Fisher, 167 and a half. Jamie, if she hits this, closes the door on Kate Cohen. If she misses, that door remains open. Yeah, right now she's sitting 10 and a half kilos above Kate Cohen. But now Jamie's coming off a missed second lift. She's repeating it. So let's see how this goes here. She really needs this. Or again, this 52 class just got really interesting real quick. A dramatic final pull. It could be for the title. See those toes come up, man. Yeah, that was close. That was dramatic. Let's wait for this. Ah, two reds. My goodness. I'm assuming her coach is going to walk over to the jury, see what's going on there. He is. But as it stands right now, she's sitting in first place, up 10 and a half kilos off of Kate Cohen, with Kate Cohen at one pole left to go. Kay Johnson, 167.5 kilos on the bar for her third and final pole. Her second pole was good. 10, Ten kilos 10 good? Kilos good? <laughs> Arian's a madman, what can I say? Now, I want her to hit this and smash this and prove me wrong for sure. But again, she's had a great day all, all around, so I don't see there being a problem here. This will give her 400 kilo total also. That's, the, uh, that's probably what's going on. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, just over the knees, nope. Dang. Close. Yeah, it probably was a 400 kilo yeah. mark that they wanted to hit. Little milestone. Why not? Jessica Espinal, 175. She currently has a 403.5 kilo total. Looking to bump that up to 408.5. Yeah, just basically padding the total here and saying, like, hey, She's trying to get as far ahead as Heather as she can to make her try to pull something uncomfortable. And, I mean, 408.5 is going to be also going to take away from Heather's American record total as well. So it's a double-edged sword right here. I still remember when Heather hit 408.5, a massive milestone for the 47-kilo class. And so now look at Jessica potentially hitting that right now today. And like we said, semi-conservative jump there just to kind of pad the total, right? That was beautiful. 408.5, wow, very, very nice. It'll be interesting to see her battle it out with Tiffany Chapon, AKA Turbo Tiff in Malta. Well, let's see, Heather's still got a pull, so we got to see what's going you're on right, here. You're right, you're right. You're getting ahead of yourself, my friend. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Megan Hurlburt, though, 180, missed 172.5, retaking Sorry, jumping seven and a half kilo regardless. 
Is Heather pulling to uh what's Heather loading up with? Wait, um I'm trying, trying to, to look here here and see yeah, I'm just looking so so yeah, she's 207.5. Heather's uh, actually the heavier lighter, the heavier lifter. So she's gonna have to pull a little more. So it looks like she's 193.5. Now that only gives her 401. So it, so then and, uh, yeah, so she needs, Heather needs to pull 14 kilos above, so she needs to pull 211 and a half for the win. So so far, Heather doesn't look like she's pulling for the win. I, I'm sorry, 201. Kate Cohen, yeah. 185 in the 52 kilo class. This will give her 387.5, which is not enough to win. So she's conceding. This will give her 392. So she's not going for the title. I think her and her coach had a conversation and thought, look at 11, that's uh, wildly ambitious. Final poll, let's just go for three for three, get the biggest yeah, possible she, total out of here. She would have needed 390, or I'm sorry, 192 and a half for the win. That was better than her second. The first second was a little wobbly at top. So right now Heather has in 193.5. I'll give her a 401 total. Um, so unless she changes it, she's conceding first place, going for second place. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah, I think Heather, a goal is to hit a Carpino. I think I, talking to her between, hit a Carpino one total. Uh, obviously she'll be into the alternate pool. Chrissy. 185 in the 57 kilo class. Good, that was much better. Stay much closer to her body there. Good. A little scrappy, but Chrissy's a little scrappy herself. Yeah, a lot of power in that one. That was beautiful. All right, well, here comes Heather. 193.5 is what's listed. Let's see if she sticks with that and concedes first place. I think she is. Yeah. I think she's looking Doesn't, to hit. I don't see anybody coming over to the scorer's table. So. She's looking to hit that 401. She told me she wants to hit the Carpino one. There's no guarantee, obviously, going forward, that's going to be a number that gets her on the team, but right. it'll give her a very good chance. It ups her, her chances. Yep. So based off of her second, second didn't move great. And you, you said yourself, she's dealing with an injury. This is a PR deadlift for her. Right, her, her deadlift PR is 192 and a half. This is a, this is a PR deadlift, an American record deadlift. For someone, you know, coming off an injury like that, that's, that's a massive, massive accomplishment. It would be a hell of a way to finish your day. And everybody is on their feet here. Phones are out. that for a ride, holy mackerel. That was emptying the tank and then some. So second place, 395 total for Heather Connor. And now, look at this number. Natalie Richards, 221.5 kilos for her final pull. This will give her 501 kilos on her total, which would be the unofficial world record in the 57 kilo class, it is a statement and a warning shot to join Imani, the current world champion, and Chad Jacob, the current world record holder. 501.5 for the total here, which would beat her own PR total of 501 even. Um, yeah, this is big, <laughs> this is big. It's historically big. <laughs> Punched her ticket, already punched her ticket for Malta. First place, hit her Carpino. Now it's just time to make a statement. And won't this put the powerlifting community on notice? It's moving, it's moving. Wow. Oh my <laughs> That's goodness. Holy cow. 501.5 it is. Wow, three white lights. Natalie Richards. 
with a phenomenal performance here at Powerlifting America Nationals. And it seemed almost like she was in cruise control all day, right? I mean, like, it wasn't, there, was, there wasn't these massive grinders and, like, all this, like, hype and everything coming behind her. It just, she kind of just cruised right through it. Pace yourself wow. Well. That's scary. That's scary for uh, Europe coming up. David Barubi, 59 kilo class. We are moving into the second flight. This is the men's 59 kilo, 66 kilo, and 74 kilo classes. All right, David's up here, uh, 22 kilos below his current PR, but he's been opening light all day, just smashing those openers, making it look easy, and then taking pretty big jumps. So I expect the same here. Bars now for David Barubi, 100 kilo. Six for six days so far. Deadlifting with the knee sleeves and the wrist wraps on. Beautiful. Hope you waited for the command. Good. Three white lights, beautiful. Logan Dwyer, 152.5 for his opening pole in the 74 kilo class. Okay, so like you said before, you know, the injury, the squat and deadlift were, or squat and bench were down a little bit. His PR here is 170, so with some normal size jumps, he can get there today and possibly go for a PR in the deadlift, so that's good. So that conserving of that energy before and making sure he didn't hurt himself worse is going to pay off here in the deadlift potentially. He has been all smiles all day too for someone who's been hurt, so. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he's not wearing the pain on his face just yet. <laughs> yeah, rocket ship. Makes easy work of it. Shrugs it off, says, all right, I'm in the meat, thank God. <laughs> that was good. Mario Leos, 212.5 kilos for his opening pull. Two and a half kilos below his current PR, his raw PR. You know, honestly, all his PRs that I've had, because he had a pretty decent day hitting PRs, they're all in the 59 class, because that's what I thought he was going to be in, so I didn't actually record his 66 one, so they might be a little bit higher with the 66. But regardless, still a decent day. Five for six coming into the deadlifts. He's on the board. It's a little tougher bit than an opener we like to see, but again, he's kind of had those moments today where his stuff just look a little bit tougher. He comes back and smashes on the next one, so. Nicholas Ferrison from the 74 kilo, in the 74 kilo class, 227.5 kilos for his opening deadlift. Well, this will lock in his national championship here in the 74 kilo class. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a very fast, considering he's, you know, 25 kilos less than his current PB. Interesting in the 74 kilo class, not often you see somebody squat and deadlift so close in weight. You think Nicholas woke up this morning saying, you know what? I'm gonna have some gold in my, uh, around, my, <laughs> around my neck today. When he thought Taylor was competing, I don't think that was the uh, case. <laughs> he had that silver on mind. But guess what, it's my friend. Well, showing up is half the battle sometimes. <laughs> Nicholas makes easy work of 27.5. And there's your national champion, 74 kilos. Very nice, congratulations. <laughs> Jonathan Garcia, 235 kilos for his opening deadlift. We are in the 66 kilo class now. So Jonathan comes in here 20 kilos below his current PR. So the strength's never been an issue with him in the deadlift. It's always been his hands holding onto the bar. Um, I fully believe if he's allowed to use straps, he would probably pull 300 kilos out there. But he just, you know, can't hold onto the bar. And again, that's something that helps him out in the bench and squat. He's just small, his small leverages like that. And it's his crux here. 
world's silver medalist making easy work of his opener. You, oh. And he paid a lot of attention to that grip setup. Yeah. So, Oscar Carpio, 245 for his opening pole. And this equals his previous personal best. Bill, what do you think about that? As long as the training is granted it, I have no issues with it. Um, obviously going out there and performing, it's a different case, but we'll see what he does here. We, told, we said all day, he needs to outperform his PRs right. to hit that Carpino total. And right now this will tie, this will hit him exactly his Carpino, I'm sorry, exactly his PR total. This will give him 600 kilos. So it'll leave him 13 and a half kilos away. So let's see how this goes, see how this moves. And maybe he just throws it on for the second attempt and calls it a day. I think for Oscar, it really is all or nothing for that goal to go to the World Championships. Judging by his training, he should have this. Yeah, move that was fantastic. Smooth, yeah. yeah, I fully expect a 15 kilo jump here and you know to lock in that total on the second attempt for sure. Dalton Laco, 247.5 for his opening deadlift. We're gonna stay in the 59 kilo class. Dalton here, he makes this on his opener. He'll be 25 kilos behind Wasker for second place there in the 59s. Um, but again, I've seen in person with my own eyes him pull 271 and a half. So he's got a massive pull on this kid. So don't count him out just yet. Oh, wow. And now you see why. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Rodrigo Manzo up next, 275 for his opening pole, 66 kilo class. And what is, that is a massive opening pole. What is his previous personal best? His PB is 277, so it's two and a half kilos below that. Um, if I'm guessing, just looking at the score sheet here, he's got his eyes set on second place. He's going to look to try to catch up with uh, Garcia here. Um, looks like first place is going to be a little bit out of reach as long as Brian Lee can land one deadlift here. Now, this is a rematch of sorts. Last Nationals, Rodrigo lost to Garcia at the National Championships and missed out on his Worlds for 2022 in the rematch. Can he get revenge, or is it going to be a repeat? I'll tell you in about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 275 is a really big opening pull for this weight class. Hook rip. Out of the thumbs, but it moved fast. Yeah. Now, does it stay 275? <sighs> if it's an issue with grip, you kind of have to, though. No? I mean, in my opinion, you have to. If it's a grip issue, it's like, it doesn't matter how fast it moves, whatever. If you can't hold on to it, you're not going to hold on to anything heavier. But if he can set the grip and finish it, we'll see. But I think, yeah, he's repeating it, so he's doing the, the smart thing here. Brian Lee pulling 295 kilos. This is American record for its opening deadlift. So this will basically cinch this thing for him for the uh, first, for, I'm sorry, for winning the 66s. Garcia has a big gap to, to, to cover here if, if Lee can make this here. Now first he's got to get this in, then he worries about the, the uh, qualifying total. Yeah, this worlds. But first, let's get this one in. 651 pounds. Make a little noise for Brian Lee. And this is a massive pull for 66. Like, crazy that we're, like, not as excited as we should be because it's an opener. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And there it is. He's now at 690.5 to lock in that Carpino total. He needs 702.5. So a 12 kilo jump, which is absolutely in his power to do that based off of that opener. Again, he's another grip guy though. So as long as the grip is there, as long as he's not wobbling, lose balance, he'll be good to go. And again, that'll it'll actually tie his PR um, deadlift as well. So. 
Uh, it's impressive. Impressive, impressive lifting by Brian Lee today. David Barubi, 107.5 for a second attempt. We are in the 59 kilo class. This is a smaller jump than this is actually the smallest jump he's taken from his first to second today on deadlift, which is normally the biggest. His squat was like a 10 plus kilo jump, his, his bench was a 10 kilo jump. Very nice. Excellent work, putting together a nice total today. Eight for eight. Logan Dwyer coming next to the platform, 162.5 kilos. Logan Dwyer, 162.5 in the 74 kilo class. Like we talked about before, has the injury, opened up conservative on the deadlift again. But now a 10 kilo jump, a 10 kilo jump could get him to a PR today, at least in the deadlift. So you can salvage that and obviously go nine for nine if that's something he's interested in, which most people are. Logan for Logan, 358 pounds, second deadlift attempt. We'll see how this moves and we'll make a call from there. Move pretty smoothly. Yeah. We expect a 10 kilo jump and uh, you know him making a small PR on the deadlift here. Mario Leos is up next. 220 kilos on the bar for his second attempt. Seven and a half kilo jump from his opener. Mario went five for six in the first two events. Yeah, the opener was a little slower than we would like for an opener, but yeah, he's a gamer. He's been to Worlds before as an equip lifter, so I don't think he's going to be rattled at all by that. And he'll come back here, fix what he needs to fix, and smash this on a second. The type of variables you face when you lift equipped, he's used to a little adversity. Three white lights, got way out in front of him. It looked like he like, almost came on his toes. About to throw that thing back at the head judge, but he pulled it back in. Three white lights, very nice. Nicholas Ferrison, 242.5 kilos loaded for his second attempt. Yeah, 15 kilo jump, kind of like we thought we were talking about, you know, locking that national title on the first, you know, take a big jump on the second, hit the PR on the third, go home a happy camper. I mean, heck, he's the national champion. It doesn't matter if he makes this one or not. He's going to be happy tonight. At least I will be. You're a 74 kilo national champion. Adds another 15 kilos to his total, it would appear. Judges agree. Yeah, very, very nice. Probably another seven and a half kilos there for him if he wants it. Jonathan Garcia up next, 247.5 on the bar for a second attempt. Seven and a half kilo jump. 12 and a half kilo jump, sorry, right. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's right. So. Jonathan the door is closing ever so slightly here. I mean, like, Jonathan needs to nail, I mean, nail this. Brian Lee's going to have to miss in order there to be a chance here. And a slim chance at that, for sure. Yeah. That would be a big ask. Right now, it's almost for pride. It's fast. Yeah, it moved well, though, didn't it? It's fast until he can't hold it. That's the problem. I'm assuming that's good. Oh, he's giving the rock stink eye there. Look at that. <laughs> All right, beautiful. 
So currently that brings Jonathan um, about 17 and a half kilos from the lead. So if Brian Lee were to miss, Jonathan could take a really big jump, right? kind of throw one at it and see what happens. But here comes Waski here. Um, he's going for an American record deadlift and also the exact number he needs to go to Malta. So 613.5 is going to be the total. 258.5 is the deadlift. He's going for it right here on the second attempt. Exactly what he needs. He hits this. He punches his ticket to the World Championships in Malta. It's all come down to this pull. He didn't tighten his belt. See his belt? Bunk yeah, his will he clasp it? There yes. you go, good, okay. Sorry, that's the coach in me seeing that stuff, and I can yell it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that was fairly smooth, that's too. Good. Let's see the lights. 613.5. Right and on that the is money. a monster total in the 59 kilo class. Absolutely. I mean, minus Sergei Fedosienko. I, I, I want to say that's the biggest total potentially ever in the 59 kilo class. He's going to be a problem at the World Championships, and he has one more lift to go. Yeah. Dalton, Leco Dalton Leco, 260 kilos, for a second pounds. attempt. Dalton is, the reason he's so great is like, this is an American record. He might not even know it is, and he's like, don't, don't even worry about the chip. I'm good, guys. This 260, we'll just take it. It's cool. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of, this is the way he is, man. <laughs> He's like, oh, it was a record? Cool. Yeah. He'll celebrate later. <laughs> Rodrigo Manzo up next. We move into the 66 kilo class. Manzo, 275, came out of his hands in the opening pull. 275, once again for a second. We both agree that's probably a good decision. Absolutely. Looks like his coach has a sandwich there. Not sure what that's all about. All right, come on, hold on to this thing, bud. Let's go. If he hits this. This will give him 645. That's a total. Let him hear it now. Uh oh. And was it grip again? That's one of those tough ones to tell, right? Because the hands never left the bar, but did he just put it down because it was slipping? Probably, right? Brian Lee. 307.5 on the bar in the 66 kilo class. So this will give him that 702.5 magic number. This also ties his all time PR on the deadlift. So again, it's no small ask right here, but based off his opener, move fantastic. Just want to avoid any grip issues or any kind of like wobbling at the top. It's going to lose your balance. One final pull. 20 seconds here. Taking a lot of time. He can join the U.S. national team. And that is smooth, considering he just tied his personal best. Good, yeah, three white lights. There we go, punching a ticket. Very, very nice. His inclusion on the U.S. national team solidified. We'll see him in Malta. David Barubi, 115 on the bar for his third and final. Hasn't missed a lift all day. 
if we see Brian take a stab at the uh, world record total, potential, or, you know, unofficial world record total, just to kind of throw that out there and say, hey, guys, I'm coming. He would join Natalie Richards, who did that earlier. <laughs> Les firing him up. He's asking for the crowd. Let's go, David Barubi. The bar is loaded. I feel like we're going to see a double, double front bicep flex here after he makes this one. I'm calling it right now. Great day for that kid. That's awesome. Logan Dwyer in the 74 kilo class, 172.5 kilos for his third and final pull. Yeah, just like we talked about before, set himself up for a deadlift PR here at Nationals. So, you know, taking that small PR, two and a half kilos, which will be great. And then looks like a nine for nine day potentially if he makes this. Coming with an injury too, so that you know can't ask for much more than that. Looking to finish the day with a personal best. Beautiful SBD singlet. Look at that red. Looks like Canadian colors right there. Hey now. Yeah, good. The knees shake, but he locks it out. That was the first time I saw the red face on him all day. That was good. Excellent job. Nine for nine. Potentially 27 white lights, I don't remember, but the way his day went, it probably was. Uh, never ruin a good story with facts, my friend. We'll say it's 27 <laughs> white lights. And Mario Leos, 227.5 for his third and final poll. Mario campaigning in the 66 kilo class, but as a guest lifter. He already has a deadlift PR today, so. Let's add to that with a little bit more. 500 pounds if you don't speak kilos. Ends with a 540 total, which is nothing to sniff at. Actually, a 12 and a half kilo PR total as well. So good on him today. Nicholas Ferrison waits in the wings. 255 kilos waits for him on the platform. This will be a small personal best for Nicholas. Yeah. Again, just like we called before, the nice easy opener, lock up the, the national championship, take that half that jump, and then you know shoot for that small PR at the end. So. Give him a PR total for the day. And of course, the gold medal around his neck. Only 16 of those this weekend. Oh, that's close. Wait for the referees. Now, oh, three white lights, beautiful. Good, good, good. It was a stitch close, but he can't say, look, at he breathes a sigh of relief. He's like, wow, that was close. <laughs> Very nice. Jonathan Garcia, 257.5 for his third and final deadlift. What will this put him at in total should he hit it? Ah, 682.5. It's going to be a two and a half kilo PR deadlift. I think that's pretty much what the play is here. Um, you know. First place is out of hand for him already. You know, unfortunately, missing the second and third squats on depth. So this is where we're at here. Just go hold on to the bar. And it's going to move fast. It's just a, again, a matter of if he holds it or not. But look at that, locking that thing in, yelling at his hand. Don't you let go. Don't you let go. For Jonathan, Worlds might be out of reach, but there's other national teams. Possibility for other world records later this year. Very nice. Nicely done. Looks good. 
Oscar coming out to 268 kilos already the national champion of 59 kilos and hit that Carpino lock that up adding another 10 kilos to his total and that would be a monster total at this point Bill yeah yeah 613 and a half already locked in looking to go to 623 on the total did not see that coming today good on him man and the way the second moved, I mean, this this third one should go. It's only a nine and a half kilo jump. If he if he hits this, the favorite he would be, the favorite he probably already is going into the world championships. Now, don't want to get ahead of myself. We'll take a look at the roster when that's available. But if, what a performance in the 59 kilo class. If Russia is still not there, he will be the favorite. Yeah, he, he, it's okay. It would be shocking if someone comes out yeah. of nowhere. times he locked it out though i'll tell you what yeah there was down up Horrible it's untiny, line, but absolutely oh, monstrous <laughs> pulling power there yeah. and if he can tidy that up by the time he gets the worlds absolutely he is going to put on one hell of a performance at malta so a 613.5 total for wasker exactly what he needed he punched his ticket to malta another and it's also a obviously a um, american record total so guy couldn't ask well he could ask for a better day if he made the last deadlift but literally every single little thing he wanted to do he did major accomplishment achieved in dalton mccoy 270 for his third and final pole this is just below his pr deadlift for dalton this will give him six or sorry, 597.5 for the total. And oh, uh, just, just lock right it out. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Locked in the second place. Still leaves with the uh, American record deadlift. Rodrigo Manzo. 275 kilos, risking bombing out. He's only had two successful lifts today. One in the squat, one in the bench, and he needs one in the deadlift. Yeah, I mean, Rodrigo's had a bad run of it last year. I think he was three for nine as well, so hopefully he comes through today and at least hits this. Again, heavy opener. It's only two and a half kilos less than his PR. The strength is there. You just got to clean it up a little bit and hold on to it. That's all. It's moving fast. You just got to hold on to the dang thing. You got to talk to the hands sometimes, you know. Come on, guys. Hold on to this thing. One more time. Nice prep. It's set up, and this looks altogether more serious. Let's see if it makes a difference. Do it. Doesn't pull in a deadlift today. Still a good effort, though. Yeah, he approached it with an all or, nef all or nothing strategy, opening that heavy. He's again trying to add to his national record deadlift. He broke it on his opener. He added some keys to it on his second attempt. We're all the way. Brian Lee with 318.5 kilos for his final pull, another American record. And Bill, how close does this get us to the world record? I believe this will be three kilos above the world record total right now. Now, of course, this is the national level. It would be unofficial. But you know all of the 66s of the world are going to hear about this performance should he hit this. Let's be honest, they're going to hear about this performance regardless. <laughs> Absolutely. What a monster pull in the 66 kilo class. And again, he Biggest like deadlift. I believe this would be an unofficial deadlift world record, as well as total world record. 
That I don't know. But don't I, I don't have that in so. front of me, but if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Smile. Nailed it. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. And Brian Lee sends a message to the world. He's coming for it all in Malta. So today we've had two unofficial world record totals out of one session. It's going to be hard to top that the rest of the week, but I know everyone's going to be trying, man. Holy cow. There's a look at the standings. Jessica Espinal, the 47-kilo national champion, hitting the Carpino she needs. Heather Connor coming in second. Moving into the 52-kilo class, where Jamie Fisher gets that national 52-kilo title. With Kate Cohen coming in second in the 57-kilo class. Natalie Richards taking the 57-kilo title, hitting the Carpino she needs to make Team USA. Chrissy Paracci coming in in the silver. In the 59 kilo class, Wasker taking the national title and hitting the Carpino needed to make the US national team. 66 kilo class, Brian Lee taking the national title and hitting the Carpino he needs. And then the 74 kilo class, Logan Dwyer taking a national title, missing the Carpino. Nicholas Farrison actually hit the- oh, fair, uh, Nicholas Farrison, sorry. The, the winner in the uh, 74 kilo class. And, and, but missing that Carpino. And that wraps up our session today, but don't go anywhere. I am going to interview Jessica Espinal, fresh off of her 47 kilo national title, winner of the showdown with 47 kilo goat Heather Connor, and hitting the Carpino, punching her ticket for the IPF World Championships. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be there. Oh, I'm on camera. I didn't even know. <laughs> We're moments away. Jessica, yeah. uh, there was a lot of hype leading into this. A showdown with Heather Connor. Obviously, the 47 kilo class, you had said, I'm entering. It's going to be the big three. Me, Heather, Turbo Tiff. The showdown with Heather just happened. Is this everything you wanted? Yeah, I, I came here looking for a win, and I got my win. Uh, now, the win was the first goal. <laughs> the Carpino won. And everybody, uh, how often have we heard the word Carpino leading into this championship? How much of a relief was it to hit that Carpino one? Oh, I think, like, as soon as I saw it on the scoreboard, I'm all like, okay, this was the first step. Now we just go for it and finish this off. And finish it off, you did. Now, Turbo Tiff obviously is going to be in Sheffield. What are you expecting from Turbo Tiff? Um, I expect her to do well. She seems to do well a lot. Um, I am wondering how her meat strategy is going to go if she has a cut or maybe she's already sitting at body weight. We have no idea, but um, I can't wait to see it. Now you are going to be watching Sheffield Turbo Tiff. If Turbo Tiff was watching you and she's watching right now, do you have a message for the reigning 47 kilo world champion? I'd say... Let's do this and come prepared. I'm bringing my all, but I respect you and we will have a fun time in Malta. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Thank you. Excellent performance. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>